Amen. Amen. Praise be to God for that beautiful music from uh, Brother Manuel Bless. In case you are interested in following him, you can find his music on YouTube. I think for those who are on YouTube, I just dropped you the link. I was in touch with him this past week and he said, unreservedly, please play our music and bless our people. We thank God for such artists in Africa. He is all the way in Ghana. West Africa. So if there's anyone in West Africa, greetings and thank you so much. And uh, what a blessing to have him minister to us and reminding us of Jesus, the all wonderful and all loving Jesus. May his soul and his kingdom be prospered. Let's pray together as we begin this prayer program. Father, in the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ, what a blessing it is to come before you tonight. Thanking you, giving you glory praising your name because there's no other name given amongst us as human beings for which we can be saved through save the name of jesus lord of lords and king of kings today as we worship today as we pray today as we give our testimonies today as we adore your name may he be lifted up above all names and above all kingdoms and above all authorities and principalities and powers for in the name of jesus we are saved in the name of Jesus. We are delivered in his name. We are healed. He is the great. I am the word that was that is and that will always be the lamp of God who takes away our sins. Today we gather in your name. Great God. Thanking you for the privilege and the opportunity to be your children and to speak to you in prayer and worship tonight. Today. It is our prayer, O oh Father, and it is our thanksgiving and our joy to know that there is indeed no other name by which we are saved. To know that today we don't believe in fables and folk tales, but that you lived, you died, and you resurrected, and that your resurrection is the reason why today we are born into the newness of life. It's the reason why today we seek for that immortality that only you can give. Today, Father, as we worship together from all the corners of the world, I shout and praise your name that you have gathered your people in preparation for the kingdom that's to come, where we will not be separated by distance, where this technology will cease to be of any use, for we shall see you and we shall see each other face to face when you shall come. Bless us tonight. May we know tonight that you have heard us, for we shall ask and praise and give you thanks in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Let me hear you shout an amen wherever you are, friends, as we amen. begin. Amen. 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 I just want to take this time in a special way to welcome um, our regulars who are here. I thank God that you have been able to join us today. It is your program. You are the reason why this program is here. And I bless the Lord because you guys are here not only to pray for yourselves, but to pray for somebody else. Look in those chat messages and see what your colleagues are asking for and see if you can pray with them. If you're right here on Zoom, the same applies. For those who are on YouTube, the chat room is buzzing right now. Your moderators are there. Special greetings to our moderators and thank you so much for tuning in on time and making sure that we tune in and chat away and pray in chat. This is what God has provided for us. So if you're on YouTube, thank you so much. Drop your prayer request in that comment chat. There are people who are watching and who are praying with you. They may even reach out to you if possible. And we just want you to know that just being here and watching on YouTube, you can help us reach someone else who needs to hear this message, who needs to be prayed with and prayed for. So if you like this live stream, you're helping somebody to reach us. And they might see this live stream suggested in their views. There are billions of people watching YouTube right now. We just pray God can send one person and through your like, we can definitely get more people to tune in and to pray with us. Would you just like this stream? Just click one button, just one. It says like, it's got a thumbnail on it. I see there are a few likes. We could do with more likes right here. 
19, we are far much more than 19 right now. So may I ask you wherever you are, if you're on YouTube, I see Pearl Hansen is here from Rhode Island in the US. Thank you so much, Pauline Hamilton from Jamaica. Welcome and greetings from Canada. I've got Avis Williams. You are saying good evening to all God's wonderful people. Let us praise his holy name. Amen. Thank you so much from Zambezi uh, River in Namibia's side. We've got Claudia Namvula. Greetings and welcome. Thank you so much. What a blessing to have you from Zambia. As usual, as always, Sipiwe Siwawa is here. Thank you very much. Frederick Kachingo from Kat Katima Mulilo in Namibia. Welcome and thank you so much. I see from Scotland, we've got Sister Amanda Melambo. Oh, you ran away from our Zoom today, my sister. It's all right. It's all okay. Thank you so much and greetings to the boys and the family. It's a pleasure to have you, to have you join us here. Sister Crabtree, thank you so much and uh, welcome. I really appreciate your being here and God bless you for what you're doing online. Mm -hmm. Sabina Joseph, greetings and thank you so much. You're already asking us to pray for you and your daughter. Elijah Shandolo, you're saying you're in Lusaka in Zambia. Thank you so much. And uh, Pearl Hanson was saying it's always a blessing and a pleasure to be here. Thank you. What a privilege it is to know that you've made this your virtual home. What a blessing. It's a privilege to have you join us today. Patricia Luhana, thank you. Uh, from Zambia, I see Amwemba Halupa. Oh, yeah. Sorry, my elder. All right, that's fine. And then I've got uh, Pet Claricia. You're saying I'm in St. Lucia. Thank you so much. And I think you joined in uh, St. Lucia by Sabina Joseph as well. Thank you so much for tuning in. Who else is here? Cradock, Eastern Cape. We've got Tandega Daki. Good to have you again here, my sister. Thank you so much. I might be in Eastern Cape this coming week. Who knows? I'm sure I will be. Amen. And uh, we've got from Florida in the U.S., Elaine Palmer. You are saying, oh, this is beautiful. She's, she says, she shout, shout, shouts out three amens. She says, amen, amen, amen. Good afternoon, everyone from Florida, USA. Thank you so much. A uh, good few couple of people from Johannesburg. Tendani Ramugondo, good to have you back, my brother. Thank you so much. Um, I've got, uh, who else do I see here? Mut Hamut Mutinta Hamusonde. Thank you. Greetings and welcome. And I've got uh, from St. Lucia as well, Shama Bizet. I've shouted three people from St. Lucia today. It's a special place, special island, special people. Thank you so much. So if you're on YouTube right now, let me get some more likes. We definitely would like to get more people to join us on, on YouTube. And remember, you can drop in your prayer request right there on the prayer program chat room. And we will be praying with you. Keep up the chat room ro rolling. We really would like to get as many of you. Because if you're on YouTube, the only way you can do is to chat with us. That's the only way. All right. You can't like. You can't. Maybe you can share this live stream. But the easier way for you to chat and for us to know you is just to chat with the message right there. There are some I know who may just watch and they may not comment and we may not know they are here, but I know the Spirit can see them and the Spirit can bless them. So thank you so much for being here. It's a blessing. It's a privilege. And let me welcome my co-host for today, Elder Mangena. I hope you can hear me where you are. I want to welcome um, Sister Phyllis. I see you are here. There's someone I know comes here and they hide. Um, okay, I'm going to call them out later. <laughs> I want to also give a special greeting to my wife who's joined us here. Greetings, V. Good to have you. I know you're in the other room. I wish one day we could co-host this one together. I know that one is a prayer warrior. Um, thank you so much. And in a special way, let me find out if there are visitors who are joining us for the first time right here on Zoom. I would like to welcome you. I would like to greet you. And uh, I would like to take your prayer request as well. I saw a special brother of mine here. I hope he's still around. Um, where did he hide? I know he's here. Mtulisi. Pastor Mtulisi Mukwa Moyo. Are you here? Can you hear me, my brother? I hope you can. I hope you can. Um, 
I see a special name as well here. I know this may only belong to one special brother and elder Mun Munyaradzi. Is that you who's here? Just want to confirm. If you're, the, if you're here for the first time, I'm waiting for your hands. Please just lift your hands. I'll be with you in a moment. Pastor Moyo, let me know if you can hear me. And uh, is that Elder Munyaradzi Mutema? I just see it says Munyaradzi. If not, it's all right. Um, yes, Pastor Moyo has just answered my chat message. I hope you can, you are able to unmute and pray with us, Mfundis, because I want you to pray for our visitors today, uh, those who are here. I've got one name, DMS. DMS, greetings and welcome. I would like you to unmute yourself, DMS. I've sent you a request to unmute. Let me hear from you. DMS, can you unmute yourself? Our visitor who's here for the first time. DMS, I hope you can hear me. Um, very much. I'm from Zambia, Livingston. DMS is from Zambia in Livingston. Greetings and how are you? Fine and how are you? Very well, thanks. How did you hear about this prayer program? Friend sent me a link. <laughs> Sorry? A friend, a friend of mine by the name of Sophie. Sophie. <laughs> a link. All right. Thank you so much. Is she here? Yes, so. Sophie, are you here? Please unmute yourself if you can. Greetings. <laughs> Let me check on her. I'm not seeing her here. But all the same, thank you so much for tuning in. Do you have any prayer request you would like us to pray with you tonight, today, um, DMS? Uh, yes, um, I have prayer request actually. Mm -hmm. My all right, it looks like we lost you there, DMS. Let me know if you can hear me. Perhaps just share your prayer request with us. Hello, I can hear you, Pastor. Yes, go ahead. What, your, what are your prayer requests you'd like us to pray with you today? Okay, I pray for my marriage and for my children. Mm -hmm. They're going through right now. <laughs> mm -hmm. I hear a little one competing with you for sound there. How old is that one? This one is uh, seven months old. They are six months old twins. Wow, you've got twins. Yes. Boys or girls? They are girls. Oh, beautiful. Are they your first ones or are there others who are older? There are others who are older. All right. So how many do you have that you want us to pray for today? Altogether, there are five. There were three girls plus the two. They make them five. So they're five. Wow. Yes. Wow, what a blessed, what a blessed opportunity to be a mother of twins. Thank you so much. And you want us to pray for your marriage as well today. Anything else you'd like to pray for? Um, a financial breakthrough. Mm -hmm. uh, because that's where the, the hiccup is. All right. All right. Train themselves because they are of the confusion now. Yes. Yes. You know what? Tell you what. If you believe that God can answer your prayers, do you believe that? Yeah. Do you believe that God can hear the prayer request you've made today? Yes, I do, Pastor. I you do really? believe. Amen. If you believe, we're going to pray for you today that God does as you have asked Amen. may it be as you have asked trust that word and believe that it will happen and look for the miracles and the wonders and signs of god in your life if there's anything you ever wanted to do to make money out of it go ahead and do it and you will see the wonder of god because remember elisha said what is in your house and that widow said only a little can of oil 
and the man of God said, take that and start working on it. You get my point? After we ask today, you are getting up and seeking for that blessing you've always sought for because God has already granted it because you've asked for it and he has heard you. And when God has heard, Jesus said, anything you ask in my name, I'll do it for you. So do, if you believe truly, I know God will bless you and will do it for you. I'm looking for Pastor Moyo if he can hear me. I want him to pray for you. Pastor Moyo is in Solusi. I know he runs a powerful ministry, regeneration ministry. Pastor Moyo, let me know if you can hear me today. I'm still insisting he must pray for you today. Um, if he can't hear me and he has a challenge to, to pray, I'm going to call upon Sister Phyllis, if you can, to pray for our sister. I didn't get your name. It just says DMS Dorothy. from Zambia. Dorothy. Dorothy. Yes. Sister Phyllis, if you can hear me. I would like you to pray for Dorothy, for her children, for her family, and for financial breakthrough. If you can hear me, Sister Phyllis, where you are, please unmute yourself. And would you mind praying for us? Even for her to grow. Yes. Yes. Thank you so much. Sister Papa, Phyllis, Papa. if you can hear me, please pray for us. Yes, I can hear you, my old. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, Lord, we come before your throne of mercy and grace this evening, Heavenly Father, this morning for some, this afternoon for the others, Heavenly Father. We want to thank you, Jehovah, for your mercy. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your favor. We thank you for being God in our lives, Heavenly Father. Lord, as we come before you, we come, Heavenly Father, with nothing but our sinfulness, Heavenly Father. We come, Heavenly Father, seeking your mercy, seeking your grace, seeking your favor this evening, Heavenly Father. Lord, we come, we just want to thank you for your goodness in our lives. We just want to thank you for this opportunity that you have given us, that so many do not have that opportunity, Heavenly Father. The opportunity to praise you, the opportunity to worship you, the opportunity, Lord, to glorify and to magnify your name. Lord, we come before you this evening, Heavenly Father. I pray, Lord, may you forgive us of all our sins. We have sinned, Lord. Our words, our thoughts, and our actions, Heavenly Father, we have sinned. And Lord, we pray that may you forgive us of all our unrighteousness. Jehovah, as we come before you, I just want to bring Elder Melusi this evening and Elder Mangena into your hands. Jehovah, we want to thank you for what you have done in their lives. We want to thank you, Jehovah, for allowing them to dedicate their lives, their time, Heavenly Father, to bring many unto your throne of mercy and grace. Lord, I just pray that may you surround them in your mercy, in your grace, and in your favor, together with their families, Heavenly Father. Jehovah, I just want to pray even all those that are represented here on Zoom and everyone else, Lord, that is represented on YouTube, Heavenly Father, you know our needs. I pray, oh Lord, may you meet each and every one of us at their point of need. And as we congregate tonight, Heavenly Father, may each and every one of us come from this platform, Heavenly Father, with a blessing that is bestowed from above. Above all, Jehovah, my prayer this evening is that as we continue to listen, to spread the word, Heavenly Father, teach us, Lord, to serve you. Teach us, Lord, to be obedient. Teach us, Lord, to know you better and to, um, secret, to bring ourselves and consecrate ourselves every single day, Heavenly Father. We pray, Heavenly Father, that may the Holy Spirit fill each and every one of us, even the gadgets that we are using, the internet, Heavenly Father. Some of us have Lord shedding. Some of us are in uh, difficult spaces, but I pray, Lord, that may each and everyone's gadget this evening be able to hold the network so that we may be able to hear what you have prepared for all of us. Thank you, Lord, for your mercies. Thank you, Lord, for allowing us this time. And in times, Jehovah, that we forget to praise and to thank you, Lord. We pray, oh Lord, that may you forgive us. Jehovah, I pray for this evening as we even go into the morning that you continue to pour your blessings upon each and every one of us. After all this has been said and done, my my prayer, Heavenly Father, this evening is that may we all find our names written in the book of life. For I pray all this, Lord, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen and amen. Amen. 
Amen. Praise be to God. Thank you so much for that prayer, Sister Phyllis. And, uh, Amen. Amen. Special welcome to our sister in Zambia. Greetings, Elder Mangena. I hope you can hear me. Yes, I can hear you. Thank you so thoroughly, much. But my network is very weak. All right. We shall pray that that my network, network is weak. will behave. Amen. May it behave in Jesus' mm. name. Amen. Now, friends, as we get into our opening prayer session for tonight, in a special way, I want us to consider uh, the theme that we've been working on for this month of April. For some of you who have been here since the beginning of April, you would remember that God has blessed us in a special way in that we have been focusing on a theme that I believe God is using to get us ready for his coming. Because when I considered what God revealed to me, it became clear in my mind that we are living in the last days. We are living in times when God is wrapping up his kingdom in righteousness. He is concluding his final work of declaring everyone holy who has been holy and everyone unholy who has been unholy. I'm going to come to that at a later point. But right now, I want us to consider um, a special text which I would like us to dwell on. And um, as we dwell on this text, perhaps before we even get into that text, I feel that we should pray. I feel that we should ask for the Holy Spirit to, to fall on us. I believe that there is nothing as important right now in this day and age than to make your calling and your election sure in Jesus Christ. We may look for many things, my brothers and sisters. We may be chasing for money, fame, cars, and wealth, and houses, and lands. But what shall it profit us if we search for all that and gain it? Yes, we may succeed in gaining it. And we may actually be having it right now. Yet our souls and our characters shall be lost. I'm going to ask for two people today who are here, who are in Zoom, who would like to pray with us or pray for us on this particular point of invoking the presence of the Spirit to come and help us to understand what we ought to do and if we appreciate what time it is, our prayer therefore at this moment is, Lord, may you help us to appreciate what time it is and what we ought to be doing. We are already at the last hour of this earth's history. The prophecies have spoken. The gospel has been preached. When I was in university, starting university in the 90s, I heard the church say, we are left with the 2040 window, a small little strip of continent in Asia, into India, into Japan, that God must help us to finish. It's already been over 35 years since that was declared. And I have known and I've since discovered the Bible has been translated into all languages of living nations. This gospel has been preached into all the ends of the world. God is helping us through this technology, through these prayer meetings, to break bulwarks that Satan has been lining up and building and shutting people into prisons. These prayer meetings are being watched in places that you and I have no idea. It's reaching. And so tonight, I want two people who are going to pray and say, Father, Help us to understand the time and help us to do what we ought to do. Thank you, Sonia Green, Sister James, for that, and also Charity Liabwa. I'm going to invite you at this moment, if you can hear me in that order, starting with Sister jo Sonia and coming to Sister uh, Charity to pray. I know there are many things we're going to pray for tonight, but at this moment I'm just asking you to ask for the Holy Spirit to awaken us to the understanding of the time and what we ought to do at this moment. 
kindly pray for us. Let us pray. Kind, righteous, eternal Father in heaven, hallowed be thy most high and holy name. Father God, we thank thee for the blessings of life, for the blessings of the Sabbath, for the thy spirit of life that thou hast so graciously given unto us. We thank thee, Lord, for thine angels that so rounds, protects, and guard us day by day. We thank thee for thy word. Thank thee, Lord, for the blessings of the three angels' messages. We thank thee, Lord, for the knowledge that we have of thy comfort. All around us, Lord, we can see and recognize that time is winding up and that is coming is soon. As we meet this evening on this prayer meeting, I pray, Heavenly Father, that in a special way that will send us a special outpouring of thy Spirit's power in our lives. Lord, we need wisdom that comes only from thee. We need understanding that only thou canst give us, and we need spiritual discernment so that we may be able to discern the time in which we live and to be aware of what ought to be done and how we ought to seek thee and the purpose for which thou hast appointed us this opportunity to be here and now. So, Heavenly Father, we can surrender ourselves totally to thee. Our eyes can be turned to thee and to thy will so that thy will will be done in our lives to the glory of thy name. And Lord, that the gospel will be spread to those around us. Lord, please impress upon our hearts the importance of first reaching those in our household, in our family. Guide us into living lives that will tell for thee. For Lord, we need to sow the gospel seed earnestly as we worship this evening and as we call upon thee we thank thee for hearing our prayers and for the blessings and for the miracles that thou will perform in our hearts and in our lives lord we know thou will do it for thou art said in thy word that thy word will never return to thee void and we will give thee the glory the honor and the praise lord thanks for the blessings keep the airways open, we're asking the Lord so that the word can go forth to every corner, to everyone we're listening, and may souls be one to thee, we pray in Jesus' worthy name, thanksgiving. Amen. 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 Father in heaven, we continue to to praise your name, to glorify your name, and to worship you, Lord. As I agree with my sister that has just gone before me, for you, O oh Father, indeed have promised us that where two or three are gathered and we are men in this uh, prayer room, that you will be with us. We glorify your name and exhort you, for there is none like unto the creator of the universe and all that is in it. Thank you so much for this opportunity to come one more time in your presence. It's not our intelligence, it's not anything that Father indeed will have done to end salvation and to end life even today. For there are those, Father, indeed, that are more righteous that you permitted to rest this week and even in this day. But and yet you permit us to be alive still, probably we still have issues with us. Probably we still have missions that we need to do. Probably there's somebody that you still need to tell about your kingdom and your coming. And probably we still have our lives to be worked on. And so we humbly come in your presence, realizing there's nothing that we can bring and there's nothing that we can do to please you or Jehovah. But we owe it all to the cross where Christ died that we may be redeemed. And so in a special, we want to invoke the presence of the Holy Spirit for you promised him when you left this earth that he will guide us in all truth. He will lead us in all situations and he will teach us more about thee. And so, Father, I want to invoke him that he may guide us and be with us. For without him, we cannot understand a thing. For without him, we cannot know how to consult you, how to be in your presence, and even how to pray. And so, Jehovah God, I want to ask him that he may come and lead us even these last days. 
We are living in perilous times. We are living in troublous times. We are living with uncertainty, not knowing what the future holds. Yet the presence of the Holy Spirit comes in and gives us peace where we are troubled. And so we want to ask of him that he may continue to guide us and lead us in all situations. And now we want to ask him to come in the fullness of thine power tonight and that he may speak secret things that we will never be able to understand. For without him, Father, indeed, we cannot even read your mind. For without you, Father, without him, we cannot even understand your word. And so, Father, I want to acknowledge the fact that we are spiritually disabled, O Jehovah, yet few of us realize it. Our times are hard. Our times are unpredictable. And so I want to invite that, Father, indeed, you give us the peace that transcends any understanding. Help us to shun evil, O Jehovah. For even as we look at Galatians 5 and all the, the things that are tabulated for those that are not spiritual, most of us are leaving them, and yet you still give us grace. And so at this time, we want to invite you that Father come and have mercy upon our lives so that we may search each one of us of us intimately, O oh Lord, review to us that which you can never review to the public. Each one of us, you know us, O oh Lord, as we come in your presence. And so read you call us, O oh Lord, in a special way. Speak to us tonight. Redeem us in a special way that at the end of it all, we'll have said you've been with us and that we've been redeemed. And if you were to come tonight, that we may be translated together with the righteous. And so I want to pray for the elders that are in this place. I want to pray for brothers and sisters throughout the globe who are tuning in and those that are on YouTube or Jehovah, that each one of us may be searched of thee and that Father may be made right. And so that every prayer that was sent tonight we will reach the throne room through the presence of the Holy Spirit. And so I want to ask the presence of Jesus Christ, the high priest, that even as he gets ready to hear us, it shall be well with our souls. This we pray, O oh Father, with thanksgiving in our hearts, our Lord, and our soon coming King. Thank you for hearing us every day and every time when we come in your presence. Amen and amen. And amen. 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 Thank you so much for those prayers. Um, believe that God is here. Because I do sense him. I do sense that tonight is special. Because I feel and I see in my spirit that there is someone who is going to be delivered today. It could be me, because God wants us to be ready. The feeling I'm having right now, as we get into our message for today, is that it's never too late to get ready. It's never too late to get ready. I believe that someone is going to be given a release today. Because that's what I feel God is saying will happen today. L let me tell you why. I don't know how this has happened, but it, it, it just happened twice as we were praying. I stood up to go and fill my glass of water and I left my Bible opened on that scripture that we are focusing on today. Chapter 19 of Revelation verse 8. But when I came back, first time I thought it was a mistake I made and I opened my Bible to chapter 21. Another verse I had marked earlier on. And I flipped my Bible back to the verse I would like to share with you which I believe God has given us today. I stood up to just go and medicate myself quickly. I just wanted to drink a bit of water and ate some honey because my voice is sounding a bit funny today. And when I came back, I find my Bible flipped again on Revelation 21 and the pen right there on that chapter. And I just started to wonder what is happening here because I don't remember turning my Bible twice 
to that verse. So I'm going to be obedient because I don't understand what, what happened on that because I almost started reading. Because I was telling myself I need to read chapter 19. That's the one we're doing on today. And lo and behold, God wants us to hear this message. I don't know who it is for, but listen to what it says. Sister Phyllis, if you could just open to chapter 19, verse 8, we will get into that. But allow me to just not disobey this strange happening on my desk. I'm going to read it and God be praised. Listen to what Revelation 21, verse 6 and 7 says. And I hope this is going to be a blessing to somebody out there. And he and said to me, let me read chapter chapter 6 and 7, chapter 21, verse 6 and 7. Sister Phyllis, you will read chapter 19, verse 8. But let's just read this scripture that keeps appearing on my open Bible. It says, and he said to me, it is done. I am the Alpha and I am the Omega the beginning and the end. I will give the fountain of the water of life freely to him who thirsts. He who overcomes shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. Verse 8, But the cowardly, the unbelieving, the abominable, the murderers, the sexually immoral, the sorcerers, the idolaters, and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burns with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading of that scripture, and his name be glorified. Amen. 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 Thank you so much for, for that scripture, Lord. I thank him for that. Father in heaven, I thank you for the blessing. I thank you for the privilege to have your word. I know you've insisted on this verse being read. Help me and help everyone who has heard this verse. That we may be blessed today. Whatever it is, Lord, may it be done in Jesus' name. Whatever it is you need to do in your children, in their lives, in their ministries, in their marriages, in their homes, in their countries, your word says it is done. We thank you that you are the Alpha. We thank you that you are the Omega. You are the beginning and the end. You will have a last say on our lives. You will have a last say on our marriages. Satan cannot and will not overcome because we declare and believe that in Jesus we are delivered. Father, give us today as you promised the fountain of the living water that flows freely for those who thirst. You promised us that those who believe in you, rivers of waters will flow out of their belly. Give us today of your spirit freely and forgive us, O oh Lord, for our sins. Because you said if we overcome, we shall inherit all things. You will be our God and we shall be your children. That's all that matters, Lord. Nothing else does. If you would bless us today, bless us with the confirmation of our inheritance that we are yours and you are ours. Father, today we pray that may any of these sins listed on the scripture not be named after us. We are asking for your character. We are asking for your revelation that we may be ready to meet you. Help us today, O oh Lord, as we pray. For we ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. 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 I would like amen. us to get into, Amen. I would like us to get into the word for meditation today. 
on this word today, I'm going to ask that we do it slightly differently. And uh, I'm going to ask Sister Phyllis to read the scripture. Uh, please read from verse 5 to verse um, 8. Verse 5 um, to mm -hmm. verse 8. And then, in fact, let's read until verse 10. 5 to 10. Mm -hmm. And I'll share a few thoughts, but what I would like to ask for tonight is perhaps to invite um, Elder Mangena that you may also add your thoughts after I have shared what the Lord has revealed to me on that scripture. And I'm going to invite two more people who are really burning to share what the Spirit is revealing to them on those scriptures. Short, no need to have a full sermon. Short to the point, just tell us what you are understanding and hearing from there. And after that, I will invite us to a prayer session. I hope that's clear. So let's get a reading, and then we'll flow as I have explained. Sister Phyllis, please read for us. Amen. That's Revelation chapter 19 from five verse 5. Ten. Yes. Then a voice came from the throne saying, Praise our God, all you his servants and those who fear him, both small and great. And I heard as it were the voice of a great multitude, as the sound of many waters and as the sound of mighty thundering saying, Alleluia, for the Lord God omnipotent reigns. Let us be glad and rejoice and give him glory for the marriage of the lamb has come and his wife has made herself ready. And to her it was granted to be arrayed in fine linen, clean and bright, for the fine linen is the righteous acts of the saints. Then he said to me, write, Blessed are those who are called to the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he said to me, These are the true sayings of God. Verse 10. And I fell at his feet to worship him, but he said to me, See that you do not do that. I am your fellow servant and of your brethren who have the testimony of Jesus. Worship God, for the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. Amen. May, may God add a blessing to the reading of his word. Amen. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 For, for those who might be wondering what, what is happening here, we have passed all the prophecies of Revelation that have got to do with time, that have got to do with the kingdoms of this world, that have got to do with the age of the church. We have gotten to the final episode of the great controversy. And so the issues you hear being highlighted in chapter 19, chapter 20, chapter 21, chapter 22, they are an epilogue of the whole Bible. In fact, if you would like to understand it better, just go and read the first four chapters of Genesis. And if you come back and read the last four chapters of Revelation, you will see that everything that was dropped, that was corrupted, that was stolen, that was taken, in the first four chapters of the Bible, they are restored in the last four chapters of Revelation. Now, here is the point. I noted, and I want us to listen carefully to what God is saying today. The first thing I want us to, to, to understand is that it is time for us right now to praise God. It is time right now in this day of ours to praise the Lord because the, the battle was won and the battle remains won and the battle remains, it, the victory belongs to Jesus. Victory right now belongs to Jesus and therefore it is time for us to make sure that we, we praise him and we glorify him and we thank him for who he is because he has won. If there was anything we need to do right now, even in this prayer meeting, it is to praise God. Because heaven commanded among the 24 elders and the, the, and the living creatures, 
who sat on the throne, they shouted Amen and Hallelujah. Not only did they shout Amen and Hallelujah, the book says they actually said praise our God. There is a command from heaven to you and to me to join them, the hosts of heaven, to glorify God, to praise Him. In fact, the, the instruction is sent to all His servants who fear Him, both small and great. The instruction is clear. Praise Him, you, His servants. The Bible is particular when it selects the word to use for those human beings who live on earth. As much as we are all children of God, and yet those who are addressed in the prophecies are the servants. In chapter 7, those who are sealed by the angel that came to seal the whole world are defined as servants. The wind is held back until the servants of God are sealed in their foreheads. So we have a command today. Message number one for tonight. Praise him for he reigns. He rules. This thought is so important, brothers and sisters, because when you look at Daniel chapter 2, the transition of the kingdoms, when we get to the Taurus, the Bible says there's a rock that comes and destroys the statue from the feet all through to the gold which was on top. So it's the feet, it's the iron, it's the bronze, the silver, the gold were all crushed by the stone. The wind blew them away and this stone grew to become a great mountain. And Daniel said to the king, the God of heaven, in those days of those kings, these kings who are ruling today, the divided nations of Europe and Africa and Asia and the U.S., in these days God is setting up a kingdom and his kingdom will reign forever. So there is an instruction as we get to the end of everything that God says we must praise God simply because he is a God who is about to reign. In fact, when you go back, and I shared this a few weeks ago, if you're not part of that prayer meeting, just go back and check the message I shared a few weeks ago. And I told you and I said, God right now is in the business of restoring his kingdom. And he is doing it one soul at a time. He is looking right now for people that he can appoint to his servants. And tonight he is asking to you, are you ready to be filled by his spirit so that you can stand in this last generation and be the light? Are you wise enough to buy of the Holy Spirit the rivers that flow of water? It's not enough to belong to a church. That's not even a criteria to be saved. It's fine. God can leave you being taken care of in the inn, but he expects you to stand up and start doing his work and serving his kingdom. It is time right now to praise him for he reigns. Not only does he reign, it says here, all his servants, the small and the great, they must definitely praise him for he is the omnipotent God. You might think that right now Christians are the weakest. They are being shot and they are being killed and they are being persecuted everywhere. Ah, uh ah, -uh, my friends. We serve a God who will revenge. He says, vengeance is mine, I will repay. For now, praise him. Go down to your grave praising God. It doesn't matter how sick you are. It doesn't matter it's whatever takes you out. May his name be praised. May your last word be glory be to God. It doesn't matter what takes you out. We may pray for you and you are not healed. We may pray for you to look for employment and you may never be employed. We may pray for you and your marriage, it might not be restored. God might be intending that the crucible continue so that in your pain, in your suffering, and by the attitude and the way you deal with your suffering, God is purifying you. And showing the world what it means to have faith in God. It says, for he reigns. So what must be the attitude of those who are seeing the kingdom of Messiah coming in? What must be our attitude? As we see the kingdoms and the nations of the world being agitated, we read it 
in the book of Revelation on the seventh trumpet. And the Bible said, when the seventh trumpet shall begin to sound, the mystery of God shall be completed. And the Bible made us very clear, made it very clear to us that when the trumpet, the seventh trumpet was sounded, it says there were voices in heaven. And they shouted and said, the kingdoms of this world have become the kingdoms of our Christ and his God. And he shall reign forever and ever and ever. Hallelujah. Amen. It is time for God to take charge of our lives and to reign in our lives, to reign in our families, to reign in our communities, in our countries, wherever we are. The greatest tragedy of our time is the tragedy of countries who are run by Christians, but they are the most corrupt. That does not represent our God very well. But tonight, the message is saying, let us, verse 7, let us be glad and rejoice and give him glory. If there's an attitude that Christians must take today, it is an attitude of gratitude. Because that attitude of gratitude shall give us altitude and elevation in our faith to join with the family in heaven that's singing praise. And the instruction is given to us, praise him and give him glory for the marriage of the lamp has come and his wife has made herself ready. If you're waiting for God to do some special miracle in your life so that suddenly you wake up and you are a saint, you are deluded. You are lost and you are deceived. The verse says, and her wife, his, his wife, hmm? his wife has made herself. You have a work to do to purify yourself and get ready for the coming of the Lord. You and I have a work to do. So the question I have for you tonight is, what are you doing to make your salvation sure? What are you doing? To make sure that the grace that God has given you is, is not wasted in your life. How are you preparing? I have seen athletes prepare for the great events. They press themselves hard to the limit. They sweat it out. They exercise on odd hours, they restrain their bodies, they rest their bodies, they keep them under subjection to make sure on the day of the rest, nothing gives in or gives up. How are you preparing for your final assault on your faith? The trial that's about to come upon us. Jesus says, you must make yourself ready. Now, as you get yourself ready, listen to verse 8. And this is the message I want to share with you and we can, we can share perspectives together. Verse 8 says, And to her, that's the wife of Christ, that is the church, that is you and me, to her it was granted to be arrayed in fine linen. To her, it was granted. Don't, don't read the Bible and run over these words. It was granted to the church that the church may be clean, may be bright, may have fine linen, which is the righteous acts of the saints. In this day and age when God is wrapping up his kingdom, what are the headlines we are hearing about Christians? Look at the news headlines and see who is behind the greatest scandals in your country. Is it not people who are professing to be Christians? No, 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 my friends. It cannot be so. In this last day and age when God is, is raping up his kingdom numbers, we cannot have a situation where Christians are presiding over corrupt governments. We cannot have a situation where Christians are in the forefront of sexual and immoral scandals. In this day and age, it cannot be that the name of the church of God is dragged into the mud of sin and corruption and wickedness and 
immorality we are seeing in our communities. God says God has given power and strength to the church to stand and be pure. This I know. If you read the book of Jude, chapter, Jude has got just one verse. It's the book that's just before the book of Revelation. Sister Phyllis, if you're there, come with me to Jude 24. Now let's hear what God is doing for his church. Just the book of Jude. Let's hear what God is doing for the church. Because there's no room right now for us to be giving excuses for our imperfections. Sister Phyllis, if you're on that chapter, let's read together. Jude 24. Jude 24, or anyone who has found it, please read it for us. Jude 24, what is God saying to his church right now? Because the verse says it was given to her. Go ahead and read, my sister. Uh, Jude, Jude 24. 24, now to him who is able to keep you from stumbling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with mm. exceeding joy. Yes. Verse 25. Verse 25, to God our Savior, who alone is wise, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and forever. Amen. It is time, amen. It is time to glorify God, to praise him, because dominion and power, both now and forever, together with glory and majesty, belong to him. Why, my friends? Because he is able to keep us from stumbling to keep us from falling and to present us faultless before the Father and his angels. God is able. And Revelation says it has been given to the church, to you and me. There is no excuse for continuing to sin and to continue to stumble. God is not coming to, to rescue an imperfect church. God is not coming to rescue Christians who are still struggling with sinful habits. God is coming to rescue those that have overcome. Now listen to the language I see on verse 9. The true definition of being blessed in these last days is not to be having material things. That's not blessings. The blessing of God that maketh rich is not in the materials. He says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things, the material, the gold, the silver, the houses and the cars and the clothes and all the special delicacies of this world that we chase after, God says he adds it to his children who have discovered his kingdom and his righteousness. You are limiting the power of God in your life because the verse says, Blessed are those who are called to the marriage supper of the Lamb. If, God, if you have heard the call on your life to be part of God's kingdom, there is no greater blessing than to accept that invitation and to prepare yourself and your character. Remember the parable of Jesus. Maybe let me lend this message on that thought from verse 9 and verse 10. The parable of the wedding garment, the moral of the story is that you don't go into the kingdom by your own character. It is a character you are given. It is the power that is dispensed by heaven. But you must accept it. You must accept that calling. You must overcome because those who are with the lamp, they are not just called, but they are also faithful. And they are chosen of God tonight. The best way to be ready is to ask yourself, have I accepted the invitation to be in his kingdom? Because many of us are coming to God to ask for things, yet he does not know us. We are strangers coming to borrow from God his blessings and yet he does not know us. You are asking God to fix your marriage, but does he know you? You are asking God to give you a job, but does he even know you as his child? 
You are asking God today to heal you. Is he your father? Is he your God? Have you accepted the gift of Jesus? He's not bribing you. He's just asking you to say, have you accepted my blessing? Because everything that we need is in Jesus Christ. He has given us all things in Jesus. Paul says, how can he deny us anything if he has given us his son? So the question is, have you accepted his son today? Here is the fault and the folly of our days. It's described in chapter 10 and I want us to pray. I am not calling you to follow me. I am not calling you even to join my church. I belong to the Seventh-day Adventist church. It will be great to fellowship with you in that great congregation that has got the truth of our time and is seeking to prepare the whole world for his coming. But the calling of God is not to come and join my denomination. It is to receive Jesus. If you choose to fellowship with us in the Adventist church, hallelujah. We will gladly accept you and fellowship with you. But what shall it profit you to join that church and yet you are not known by God? To be a great multitude that will perish in the desert. I fear when I consider this message because I know what God has revealed to me. And Paul echoed the same sentiments. He says, I don't want, after having preached to many people, to become a bridge for others to enter the kingdom, but for me to be lost. It is possible, my friends. Here is the folly of our day. John bowed down and fell on the ground and began to worship him. The issue of worship. I want to finish with that one. The angel refused to be worshipped by John. John fell down and worshipped. Have you seen videos of people who claim to be men of God? People bowing to them? The angel of God refused. He said, see that you do not do that. Because me as an angel, I am your fellow brother. I am your fellow servant and of your brethren who are in who have the testimony of Jesus worship God for the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy don't worship me don't bow to me John get up please don't there are men who claim to be men of God today who are being worshiped by people because they claim to have a spirit special anointing and power they speak as if they are god on earth that's my friend that my friend is blasphemy god is calling us out of those fallen systems where men are sapping and stealing the glory of god to themselves god is saying praise him because god is the one who reigns and god is saying my wife is getting ready Right now as we speak, the church of God is being fashioned and finished and finished for the salvation that's coming. And God says the only blessing that matters at this time is the blessing of receiving his kingdom into your heart. And sealing yourself into the belief and the faith that Jesus has saved me. And I'm, I shall live as one who has been saved. I will go to places and, and meet people and introduce them to the Jesus who has saved me. God is saying that's the blessed invitation. Go to the highways. Go to the byways. This is a highway God has set up. This prayer room is a highway. Perhaps it's a byway according to others. But this is the channel because whether they are small, whether they are great, the message of Revelation says the servants of God must praise him and call many to the kingdom. So I don't mind even if I'm praying with two people. It might be a byway, but God says there is power given for us to turn many to righteousness. Tonight, I want to pray with somebody. Tonight, I feel it's a season for us to invoke the spirit of God, the spirit of praise, the spirit of glorifying God in our lives and in our words, 
I want to invoke from, from God the capacity that we need to buy the oil for the lamps. It's no use, my friends, reading this Bible without the spirit of this truth. We need the Bible and the spirit to help us understand. I want to invite you to pray with me as we seek the Spirit of God. Amen. At this moment, before we get into our prayer. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Elder. I would like you to share with us your reflections on this word. And if there are one or two people who are also impressed to share with us, please do, because we want to agree on this word. Before we pray, I want us to agree on this word. Elder Mangana, share with us a few thoughts you might have on this word, please. Yes, may, as you were sharing, what overcame my mind is the question, what could cause us as members hmm. not to be aware of what is of what God is doing right away. Why are we not aware? Mm. You read the Revelation 21. Mm. And I think you spoke from Revelation 19, but you were talking of Revelation 21. Mm. Mm. Uh, I would like to read verse 4, verse 3, 4, and five of chapter 21 uh, yes and i would uh, i want i will i will work on on four and five mm -hmm. but i will read five and read quads that will be my 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 mm -hmm. observation and i heard a great voice out of heaven saying behold the tabernacle of god is with men and he will dwell with them and god himself shall be with them mm -hmm. and be their god mm. um, verse 4 and god shall wipe away all tears from their eyes mm. and there shall be no more death neither sorrow nor crying neither shall there be any more pain for the former things are passed away mm. verse 5 says then and he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. Mm. And he said unto me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. Mm. This is very powerful. This is a very strong promise. Mm. But I was thinking that uh, we are not aware of these things because of the status quo. I don't know whether I should start. We, we are content with our orders of life today. We are happy to be here. But what is here? that can make everyone happy. Mm. If you try mm. to analyze what we are going through, I think I can give an example of the Israelites. After crossing the Red Sea, they wanted to go back to Egypt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. they, they cried to Moses, take us back to Egypt because there is garlic 
Mm. There are things that we enjoyed in Egypt. Mm. Sometimes our settings, we get content with where we are and what is happening to us, not because we like to be there, but because we are used to be there. Mm. We are, we, we, by being used, we just become content that if I don't go and eat garlic, mm. I have a challenge. Mm. But after crossing the Red Sea, is it okay in the mind of the children of Israel that you want to cross the Red Sea again after seeing the miracles in the Red Sea? after seeing the Egyptians dying in the Red Sea, would, would you cr cry in the clamor that we want to go back to Egypt? It's better to be slaves in Egypt after witnessing to such big miracles God has done. What are we doing here on the platform? How many miracles have been performed here on this platform? I'm not talking of the Red Sea anymore. I'm talking of our setup as we sit here. How many miracles has God performed in our eyes, but we still are languishing in our old order of life? What causes us not to see and hear what God is doing? Why are we not ready? Why am I not ready? If you read, if you look at our setups of today, uh, you, you work for the whole month mm -hmm. and you get one paycheck after working 20 days of the month. Mm. And that paycheck does not last the whole week with you. Mm. After one week, you'll be waiting for another paycheck, which will come in the next three weeks. With that paycheck, you pay your rent, you pay your gas, you pay, you, mm. you go to the supermarket, you, you fill up your basket, you take it home. The cycle goes up mm -hmm. and down. Tomorrow you are crying, you are at a, a funeral. After that, you are sick, you are not well, your child is not doing well. The order of life today is not just friendly, but it's where we want to be. It's what we are content with, but the order of life is not friendly. As we speak on the platform here, Somebody is looking for a job. Somebody is looking for the mother to be to be to be healed. The, it's the order of life under the sun. We are going through thick and thin, but we are not anywhere ready to meet God. We are not even praying that this order of life of today must come to an end. But verse five is very serious. He is saying, "And he he that sat upon the throne said." Behold, I mm. make all things new. new. Mm. I make all things new. Mm. All things. Is there, is there someone agreeing with God tonight that we need a new order of life? Mm. Mm. We are living with Jesuit orders. We are living with the gossip orders. We are living with the death orders. We are living with sickness orders. We are li living with modern day slavery, where you work hard, mm. get one paycheck. Mm. After getting one paycheck, you struggle to make ends meet. This one wants this one in you. And, and tears are always on our cheeks. Mm. This is the order of this life. But Jesus is saying, behold, I make all things new. Mm. And he said unto me, write, write this, write this. When God says write this, you mm. will keep it there. Yeah. And it, it, it's very crucial. He said, write this. And he said unto me, write 
for these words are true mm. and faithful. Mm-hmm. Does really God, who, who speaks matter into existence, need to underscore the statement of salvation mm. and say, this is true and faithful? Does God need to say that? Because God can speak matter into existence. Hmm. But here, he is emphasizing, he is saying, write these words, for these words are true and faithful. Then verse 4, if we read backwards, and God shall wipe away all Hmm. tears. Hmm. Those who are tired of this set, setting, this mm. setting where we have classes of people, we have first world countries, we have second world countries, we have third world countries, where we have settings of people where somebody just gets billions for kicking the ball when others mm. are sleeping in a squatter game. This is the order of life. Some countries are so corrupt to the bone. Mm. Their people are in trouble, no hospital, no medication, no care at all. This is the order of life under the sun, where corruption has to be put in place. As I speak, I grew up in a setting where marijuana was not allowed Mm. anywhere in the world. But today, it's given a new name, cannabis. Mm. You can farm cannabis. They say it's cannabis. Mm. You can farm it and sell it. But look at our children, what they are doing after eating cannabis. Things are not going well. They are drop-offs from school dropouts from school at university level. They are taken into the street by drugs, but the world is allowing these things to happen. When shall you be ready for the second coming? When will you be ready to walk into the vineyard and the quicken and hasten his second coming? Mm. Jesus is saying, behold, I will make all things new. Mm. Hey, when elder, you opened verse 19. Mm. Behold, the bride, the church, yeah. is adorned. Yes. But this lady, the fat lady, there's a guy who wrote the book, The Fat Lady in the Kingdom. Mm. I want to, I want, I want us to be true to me, to be honest and not to be coward. How mm. much corruption is in the church? I'm not talking of the government's political world. I'm talking mm. of the church. How much corruption is in the church? Is the system we are in now, does it have the capacity to get souls saved? Mm. Are we doing the right things? Do we have the right leadership in position? Uh, is the church praying and fasting for those they've set up in leadership positions? Behold, I am ready to make things new. Yes. Everything shall become new. Listen, my brothers, today's word, to me, it has touched me inside. Mm. We have new ways and new forms of explaining sin to a level where sin is, is sound, comfortable. Our church today is not praying for women and child abuse, but is accommodating the result of child and women abuse. Mm. Jesus says, I hate divorce. The church is saying, if you are abused, you can divorce. Mm. Yes. It's fine. It's fine. It's a situation we find ourselves in. There is no reverse. But tell me one thing. If that cannot make you ready, if you cannot clamor and cry 
for the for Christ to to do all things to so that things become new. What will? Mm. What will make you feel that now we need Christ to come down here and make all things new? Mm. Right away here in South Africa, we have a case that is in all over media. It is now like engulfing some serious top people. Mm. What is the church doing about that? Are we praying for the for the involved? Are we crying to God for these things that are happening around us? Or we are part and parcel of them by accommodating mm. divorce without praying for abuse, mm. without praying and leading children to the right platforms of success and breakthroughs through the name of our God. Mm. We are terrible. We are in a terrible situation. Our situation means we must just cry. Mm. It is no longer time to pray. It is time to cry. Which lady has been made ready for the groom? Mm. Which one? Mm. Tell me, is the Adventist system here that we have today, is it the system that is ready, that it must be covered with white, fine linen? Verse hmm. 7 and 8 of Revelation 19. We have hmm. seen all this abuse and accommodated the weakness hmm. of the world without rebuking the weakness of the world. Hmm. We have not. We have helped the devil to destroy families, which is the image of God. Hmm. Did you know that the marriage from the Garden of Eden, let us make men, male and a female, in his image. And the world hmm. is busy destroying the marriage. We are looking. We are not even crying. But Daniel saw these things and he collapsed. Mm. Mm. He saw where we are now. Women abuse, aeroplanes falling, ships breaking in the sea, and thousands dying. Mm. He saw the abuse and the systems of the church coming to the end of the road. Mm. The church is failing. What we get in the church today is promotion for stewardship mm. more than soul winning. But the Bible still stands. He who is wise wins souls for God. Yeah. But I want to read verse 5. Mm. And he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. Death must be gotten ridden of. Sickness must disappear. Today, there are diseases that have never been seen by this world ever since the world was. There are yeah. so, so much serious, terrible problems we are in. Daniel saw them and collapsed. For 21 days, he could not eat anything. But we are so comfortable in them. We are not reading the times. Mm. May God, may my God tonight help each and every one of us. There are 73 gadgets right away on Zoom. I don't mm. know how many are on, on YouTube. But With my prayer tonight is, please God, thank you my brother, please God, may you make all these, these gadgets the extension of your kingdom of harvesting souls, making souls ready for the second coming. We are at the end. This could be the last chapter of the world. That's what I'm seeing. And that's what my brother said here. And I agree with you 100%. If you read the revelation, behold, the evil man is at the door destroying God's image in your marriage. Mm. And you are an agent to dismantle God's image. 
Did you know what the Bible says? Let me just quote a little thing, a little thing. We hear about it every day. Hmm. Let not what God has put together, let no man put asunder. asunder. Yes. Because male and the female complete God's image. Mm -hmm. When a woman and a man are walking to the mall, hand in glove, the image of God is complete. The world mm -hmm. sees nothing but love. But let mm. me let you know, that's what our government have accommodated to be destroyed thoroughly. Eventually, we elevate women. That is not the order of life God mm. put in place. Mm. It is the order of life men have put in place. Mm. It means it's the end of the world. Sodom. Mm. Sodom. Remember Sodom. Even in these days, remember Sodom. My yes. brothers, we are dying. Mm. We are hungry. We mm. hate each other. We burn each other with the tires, with no mess. We are, be mm. we, we are bewitching each other. This order of life must disappear. Mm. Must go. And I'm yeah. crying that may our God open our eyes. Amen. If you are here, may your eyes be opened mm. so that you can see where the world is. Mm. We are at the bad end of things. Yeah. And I'm worried that the church is blind. The leadership, the system is not helping souls get saved. Mm. Not helping. Mm. Now, jealous is rife in the church more than in the world. But in the world, it's better. They shout at each other on campaigns openly. It's mm. clear they hate each other they, for position. But in the church, they tweet in the name of Jesus nicely. Mm. With a smile. Mm. Remember Matthew 21. Yes. But let's not go there. But remember Matthew 21. Mm. May God richly bless us tonight. May, he, may Michael stand up Amen. and open the eyes of his people before he comes out of the most holy place. May he mm. stand up and help mm. us to overcome the world. We are not overcoming the world. Mm. He says, maybe let me read V6, which you started. And he said unto me, it is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega. Omega. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. Mm -hmm. John 14 says, if you love me and you keep my commandments, I and my Father will come and stay in you. When God is in you, you are sealed. Mm. 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 But when you are in the church, you may not be sealed. Mm. But when God is in you, you are totally sealed. He's the Alpha and the Omega. And I will give unto him that is a thirsty of the fountain of the water of life free. Mm. Ha. You cannot die when you are from the fountain of life. Mm. You will not die. You will not be afraid of death. Mm. Paul refused, refused that if there is, Jeru there is, there is death in in Jerusalem, he said, as long as there is the work of God, I will not stop. I will stop at nothing. Yeah. I will go and do the work. Mm. Nothing scares him. His life, the love for his life does not make, if, if his life is threatened, does not make him get scared of worshiping and praising God in the presence of his enemies. Mm. He goes to die. Peter says, hey, he is in me. Don't nail me like my savior. Amen. But nail me with my head down. Mm. Are you ready for that one? Because mm. it's coming very soon. Are you ready? I know we have read it in Ellen White. Crisis for the final crisis. Or mm -hmm. uh, preparations for the final crisis. We have read it. But are you ready for the final crisis? Mm. Christians are restoring their dignities at the expense of the authenticity of God's word. Mm. Hmm. They would rather be dignified 
than tell mm. the truth. Mm. We are losing it. We are not ready. But soon and very soon, we will be required by being on this platform, will mm. be required to show the strength we gathered by being here. Very soon. Mm. Verse 7 says, and he that overcometh Remember, mm. Christ comes to you and he stays in you. With the Father, they stay in you. They influence you. Mm. They lead you. They remove you. They remove the sack of the breast of sin from you. And you hate the breast of sin mm. because the Spirit of God has removed you, from, he has weaned you from the breast of sin. They remove you from the breast of sin. And then, mm. because of him, uh, he says, the, the, you, you, you overcome sin because of him. Afterwards, he said, you have overcome. You have overcome. You have overcome. Whereas, not even you who was doing everything, it is because you chose him as he chose you, then you overcame because of him. Then he, 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 he gives you credit for the victory that he, 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 he did for you. He played for you. He fought for you. Then he says, well done, my son. Hmm. If you are an overcomer, it's because Christ was in you to overcome. Amen. Left alone with Amen. our Adventist, Adventism, we will never be victorious. With our pastors, with our elders, hmm. we will never be victorious. We need Christ in us to be victorious. May God richly bless us. Amen. May God richly bless us and Amen. give us victory over sin tonight. Amen. 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 Somebody shout an amen and praise God for that message from Elder Mangena. Amen. Amen. Praise mm. be to God. Praise be to God. I know I had um, I had muted all. I'm going to allow everyone and anyone to shout an amen and praise God. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 Young ones are here. They are praising God together with us. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. I'm just going to invite two people who are here in Zoom. You feel moved by the Spirit. You want to share something right now. You feel that the Spirit of the Lord has stripped something in you and you just want to throw it in there in agreement to this word. Two people. Thank you, Dr. Mano. I see your hand. Waiting for the second one. I'm waiting for the second one. Thank you, Kali, for that word, for that word, for that hand. Thank you so much. And uh, as I stand by for Dr. Mano to share that thought with us, I want you to know what's going to happen when Jesus is ready to come. I saw a comment from Sister Jacqueline saying, Jesus will come when the time is right. That's so true. Because Rev Daniel chapter 12, verse 1 says, at that time, so there's a time that only God knows, Jesus does not know it. But it says, at that time, Michael shall stand up. The great prince, that's Christ himself, our Lord and our Savior, who stands watching over your people. When he shall stand, the Bible says, there shall be a time of trouble. There is a storm before us. But Michael shall stand. And that storm, the Bible describes it as a storm such as never was since there was a nation, even to that time. In that time, we are approaching it. And at that time, this is what I want you to know, when Christ stand up, he's, Daniel was told, your people shall be delivered Everyone who is found written in the book of life. 
That's the concept I want you to appreciate. There is deliverance for those whose names are written in the book of life. Unfortunately, the word also says, at the resurrection of many who sleep in the dust of the earth, who shall wake up at that time, some will rise to everlasting life. So it matters how you die. Death is not just death. It matters how you die and in whom you die. Do you die in Christ or you die outside of Christ? So, so this decision of standing for Christ and being ready for him is a decision you shall have to contend with until the last moment of your death. Because the Bible then says, some shall rise up to shame and some to everlasting contempt. But those, that's verse 3, those who are wise shall shine like the brightness of the firmament. And those who turn many to righteousness like the stars forever and ever. Let me allow Dr. Manu to share your thoughts with us. Please unmute yourself and go ahead. Good evening, brothers and sisters. I hope you can hear me. Yes, we can, but there's a little bit of an echo. I think you're far from the mic. Can you hear me? Yes, we can, but just come closer to the microphone. Okay. Um, and now? Yes, let's try that. Um, okay, let me... I'm, I'm assuming, okay, so I just want to also, if, if you go to the Book of Revelation, Chapter 3, and it starts from chapter two when you talk about the messages to the seven churches. Mm -hmm. And the church that I feel we need to look at is the church of Philadelphia. Because mm -hmm. to this church, the from verse seven of Revelation chapter three, mm -hmm. he said that uh, I know you they work the world. I said before they an open door, and no man can shut it. For thou hast little strength, and has kept my way, and has not denied my name. Behold, I will make them of the snuggle of Satan, who say they are Jews, and are not, but do lie. Behold, I make them to come and worship before thy feet, and to know that I have loved thee. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of oppression. We shall come upon all the world, try them that go upon the earth. Hmm. Behold, I come quickly. Hold fast, lose thou hast, that no man take thy crown. Then the soul says, Him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my God. Hmm. And you shall go, go no more out, and I will write upon him the name of my God, and the name of the city of my God, which is the new Jerusalem, which cometh down out of heaven hmm. from my God, and I will write upon him my, my new name. So this church, of all the seven churches, this is the only church that did know that God did not point out that there was something wrong. Mm -hmm. But you can, we can actually say that, can we be like this church now, that we go to God and that nothing is taken away. But we are, in this world now, we, we are looking at other things. We are focusing mm -hmm. on things that are not good. And we are living in the, we are more in the logician. Uh, mode now, where we are neither hot nor cold. We are just there. Because we, we are tolerating things, as our brother was saying, our brother Mangena was saying, that we are, God wants us to be lukewarm, rather than, rather we are, because we are lukewarm, we are allowing people to come to church raised anyhow. Mm -hmm. I was reading somewhere, or checking somewhere that, you know, even first should long back, when they were wearing, wearing skates, it was something below me, but now our singers, the church, they are even worse than the first because even the, the, mm. the, the clothing they are wearing is way, way above, almost maybe mid size. So what mm. is it that we are doing? God is calling us in Revelation chapter 3, when you he, when he read down that verse 18, that I can't wait to buy of me gold, set in the fire. Mm -hmm. That I may be rich, and why they mean that I may be cross, 
in that the shame of the nakedness do not appear. In an end, then I saw that thou mayest see. And as many as I love, I rebuke and trust them. Be zealous, therefore, and repent. So I want to agree with the mm. way that you've shared, uh, Brother Melusi, in that what we need now is to go to God and buy of him God mm. that is tried, so that we also may be closed with the white linen that was already said. We need mm. to, to be zealous for God and repent. Our we should be there to, to repent and follow God so that at the end of it all, as all this is happening, when the marriage supper will eventually come, we be part mm. of it. Uh, this is my sharing. Amen. May God bless Amen. the reading of his word. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for that reflective word. There is need for us to have the new name of God written in us. We must be clothed. A new garment is needed. A new character is needed. And God says we must cover our nakedness. And we must buy from him the oil to anoint our eyes that we may see. Powerful word. That's what it means to get ready for his coming. So that our nakedness is not seen. Nudity must not be part of us, whether physical or spiritual. The same message is repeated in chapter 16 of Revelation when the three unclean spirits are ready to go out and do the work, the, uh, the satanic three angels' messages. When they go out, the warning is given <clears throat> to everyone on verse 15 of chapter 16. Chapter 16, verse 15. Blessed is he who watches and keeps his garments, lest he walks naked and they see his shame. It's mentioned in relationship to the satanic strategy to gather the world to the battle of the Lord. Kali, greetings and welcome. Thank you, Elder. Welcome too. Thank you so much. Share your perspectives before we get into prayer. Good evening, everyone. Uh, I just want to show to share something. Just I'm also inspired by Revelation 21. Mm -hmm. The message in Revelation 21, uh, it it really touches me. Amen. And I want to believe why it was given tonight. I would want to believe that this is a message of hope, mm -hmm. and it's it's good news to people of this world or to us when we are living in this world. Because mm -hmm. you look at the hope that we find that is engraved in that message of Revelation 21. Mm. You look at it and then you come back into the world that we live in, in today, which is full of suffering. Mm. Many heartaches that we go through every day of our lives. Mm -hmm. But then God comes to us with this message tonight of saying, wait, I am coming and I'm bringing this suffering to an end. And everything, everything, all the pain, all the tears shall be wiped mm. away. Mm. So this is something which, which really touched me today and gave me that really there is hope in the coming of our Messiah. As we are reminded that we are waiting for this hope, for the, mm. for the great hope that we are waiting for. We are reminded that when we are going to, to meet our Savior, even mm. our bodies, as we are talking of new garments, our bodies will change. Yes, yes. And these are the garments we are referring to. And this should not mm. be a message that we should take lightly. It's a message that should resound in each one of us. Yes. To understand and to know that even if I'm going through this suffering, surely mm. there is light at the end of the tunnel. Yes. And our light is the coming Amen. of our Savior, who will come and wipe away all our suffering. Thank you very Amen. much. Amen. 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 Thank you so much for that reflection, uh, Sister Kali. Powerful words. It's a message of hope indeed. It's a message of hope. Mercy. Mercy. Mercy drops are falling right now. God is ready to deliver us tonight. He wants us to hide our lives in Him. And friends, as we get into this prayer session, I want to call upon all of you wherever you are, whatever you're doing at this moment, 
I want you to know that God is here. Have your way. Have your way, Lord. I'm just a vessel. Have your way, Lord. I'm just a vessel. Nothing more. Nothing more. When you're done. When God is done with you. Take the glory. May all glory be to God. I'm satisfied. Amen. Just to see you glorify. Our satisfaction must just to see God being glorified. Take the stage, Lord. May God take the stage in your life. Have your way. May He have His way. I'm just a vessel. Oh yes. Oh yes. Nothing more. Nothing more. May God fill you with His Spirit tonight. When you're done. And when He's done changing. Please take the glory. Give glory to God. Satisfied, yes, Lord, just to see you glorify, yes, Lord. I'm satisfied, satisfied, Amen. just to see you Amen. glorify, to see God being glorified in our lives. Oh, satisfied, it gives me great pleasure tonight to just know to see you glorify that you are choosing to glorify God with your life. Mm. Regardless Holy of the sin. Spirit, you are welcome. Oh yes, Holy Spirit is welcome in our lives. Regardless of your sin, my Come brother. Flood May He flood your life. The atmosphere. Thank you, Lord. Your glory, Thank God, you. is what our hearts long. To be May His glory be what we long for. By your presence. May we be overcome Lord, and submit to His Spirit. Lord, Holy Spirit, you are Spirit, welcome. You are Is there someone welcome. who wants to pray with me today? Come flood someone who says, Holy Spirit, fill my life. Fill the I've been a sinner. I've been unbelieving. I have done the abominable. I have done sorcery, I have done idolatry, I am a liar, I am a murderer because I speak hurtful words and I have hurt a lot of people. I am sexually immoral, I have been, I have fallen, I have fallen, you are here, you are here, Holy Spirit, you are asking for the Holy Spirit to fill you right now. Oh, presence, Lord. You might be on YouTube right now. There's nothing worth more. I want you to know there's nothing that could ever come close. Much more that's worth it. Nothing can compare. Oh yes. You're our living hope. Tonight I'm calling, you. I'm calling you to be in the presence of God. Tonight's prayer moment is really about your character and your personality. Getting ready for the coming of the Lord. I've tasted Amen. Come and Amen. taste. Of the sweetest Come of and love. taste of the sweetest of the love Where of God. Free. Let's worship together today and as we worship. Raise your hands down. if this is your prayer tonight. Raise your hand if it is your prayer. In your presence, Hallelujah. Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In oh, His presence. In His presence. Let's Holy worship Him. Holy God. Spirit, you Holy Spirit, are be welcome in our lives. Many of us don't know what it means to be born of the Spirit. We have assented to the academic belief of the your word but we have no experience God of what it means to be filled by this is that your prayer tonight to be you know all the facts you're like the rich man you know the law you've been keeping it but do you know what it means to serve God in the holiness of his come come hallelujah and feel the fill us, feel us.
if that's your prayer tonight, I'm asking you to raise your hand as we are about to pray. I just wanted to add something, Elder. Go ahead, Elder. Hey, I'm having an impression in my heart right away yes. mm -hmm. uh, that um, our Christian Christianity needs to be transformed mm -hmm. to my good example is Paul. Mm. You see, mm. when when Saul met Christ. Yes, Lord. He, his Damascus name was, moment. Yes, his name was changed. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You see, in the olden days, yes, the name was given according to the behavior mm. of the recipient of the name. Yes. And Paul got a new name from Saul because of his experience mm. with Christ on his way to Damascus. Mm. Mm. My cry was, mm. as Christians, we have not risen to the level where we believe strongly that my being in cage yes. without Christ does not get me anywhere. Amen. We still think that we cannot leave it all with Christ. I must do something. Yes. But when Paul met with Christ, he says it's no longer I that lives. Christ. Hallelujah. But That's Christ it. lives in me. That's it. That's if it. our Christianity has to be elevated, mm. it must be practically mm. that we, it's no longer I, I that lives. Christ. Yes. We cannot yes. come to the platform and talk of sin. Mm. We can only talk of our experience with our God. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Amen. We, we, we cannot waste time discussing trivial issues. You see, when Paul was engulfed mm -hmm. by yes. the spirit of Christ, yes. even his shadow Amen. was healing the sick ones. Yes, Lord. But I don't think he was telling his shadow to, to heal the sick. Mm. But people just believed that if his shadow passes by me, Mm. I'm going to be healed. Even Christ never got his shadow healing anyone. Mm. But when Paul, when Christ was in Paul, and Paul believed Christ and lived according to his will and preached that is no longer I that lives and said mm. to some listeners, dying is gain. Mm. To live is Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Elder. When he was in that situation, thank you. Sorry for taking time. Amen. Thank you so much if, for those reflection words. I want us to get into prayer right now. The Spirit speaks. The Spirit invites us right now. We're in need of you. We are in Amen. need of the Spirit right now. Right now. I'm purifying passion. We need him to purify us, purify our hearts and purify our habits. Purify Lord, come and make us new. We need newness. We're standing here before you, God. Yes, Lord. Just the way we are. We are praying right now. Yes. We are praying right now. This is a song to lead us Please to this throne. Take away our weakness. Amen. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Lord, come and make us whole. Oh, yes. We want to be whole oh, and holy. Oh, you are brooding yes. over every dark. 
Aleluia. You are causing light to shine from God. over your situations and cause light to shine in you your darkness. Amen. He brood over every darkness. Every darkness in your life may it fall you in Jesus' name. Causing light to shine oh, from Lord. darkness. Hallelujah. We're praying, friends. You Get ready. Raise that hand over right now. Every darkness, Lord. God is calling you right now. You are causing light to shine from darkness, Lord. Hallelujah. You are brooding, brooding over, over every dark. Amen. I'm waiting for someone who's fighting a battle whether they should raise their hand or not. Light to shine from darkness. You roll. Raise it now because God is calling you. You raise that hand right now. Jesus, Whether you, you, you do it in the chat room, it's fine. Whether you do it as your reaction, so I can see it on the list of hands. May God speak to you right now. We are about to pray. This is a prayer you don't want to miss. It's a prayer of confession. It's a prayer of worshiping God. It's a prayer of praising God. May he take charge. Spirit to spirit. Oh Lord. Guided by your word. Guided by your word. And with your breath of life. Hallelujah. That's how I come. Amen. Raise your hands, friends. We are about that's to That's how I change my life. Right now. We are oh, about to pray. Oh, oh. Father to child, yeah. thank you for those hands. From your spirit to my spirit, you just light to by you word. Confess it. Oh, submit your heart to God. And with your breath of life, submit yourself. That's how I come. Alive. Submit. That's how I change my change. Your world and your life. Just breathe your name upon it's me. just when you confess Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just breathe your name breathe upon your name. me. Amen. When God speaks tonight, it changes everything. Amen. Amen. You only need to hear God speak. Everything means just nothing. Breathe your name upon me. God is ready to give you power and victory. Just raise your hands before we pray. Your name upon you need to be ready for His coming, my brother, my sister. Your Just breathe your name Calling upon, upon those on YouTube. God is ready. Yahweh is your name. Breathe. He is Yahweh. <coughs> Is ready to breathe just his name. Breathe your name upon me. Thank you for those hands. I feel there are a few more. Just breathe your name. We're just about to pray now, friends. Breathe. We just want God to breathe his name. Just breathe us. your name upon me. Hallelujah. 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 Your name is your name. You need the name of Adonai over you. You are not ready for what's coming Just unless God covers you. Name upon me. Just lift your hand. Just lift your hand. Right now, my friends, we're just about to pray. Right now. Right now. We're just about to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, We thank you tonight because there is nothing you cannot do. There is nothing impossible for you. You have done everything and given us all things that we may be saved. You have prepared the universe and you have prepared the whole world through prophecies and the preaching of your word for the coming of your kingdom. 
But Father, tonight we are asking that may you look upon each and every gadget that's connected here. There are 81 families gathered around their gadgets right now. There are over hundreds of people who are watching this broadcast right now on YouTube. And many of them have raised their hands. Lost count of how many they are. But you know, you visit all of them. You see them like there's no other soul in this world. Oh Lord Jesus, tonight as I pray for each and every person connected here, each and every family that's connected to this Africa Midnight Cry prayer program, right now, oh Father, I pray in the name of Jesus, with all mm. humility of soul and mind and spirit, because I am a sinner. Mm. I know what it means to fall before you. I know Amen. what it is to cry when you see your shortcomings. Father, tonight I know what you can do. And I'm not second guessing your capacity and ability to mm. save us. Because we are not Amen. able to save ourselves. We are therefore coming today asking for each and every one of us we are praying. Come and fill us with your spirit. Introduce yourself to us afresh because we thought we knew you but we did not know this level of your grace and mercy. We did not know that you loved us so eternally that you can pause the program of the world tonight to save us. You allowed us to connect tonight because there's a message that you wanted to give to us. There's a blessing you want to give to us. There's an invitation that comes in the blesses, blessing of tonight that we may come to you and be saved. Oh, Holy Spirit, Spirit of the living God, you left heaven and you've been here for thousands of years because you are here to prepare us for the kingdom of our Messiah. Fall afresh on us and cause the rivers of waters to flow out of us and help us to be ready for your coming. I want to pray for each and every person who's listening to this prayer right now that may you revive in them mm. the spirit mm. of holiness and righteousness. Amen. Amen. Revive in each one of us the spirit of power to say no to sin and Amen. to be alive to holiness. Amen. Tonight, Father, may you establish the real and true order of things in our lives in that you are transforming us to become new creatures and to become living stones in your temple. Amen. Father, I pray tonight, may the fountains of the living waters flow <coughs> freely through us. Oh Lord, how I pray that tonight we may be overcomers because you are ready to give us all things when we overcome. Tonight, Father, you are saying you want us to be your children. So we come in our wretchedness, in our evil, in our immorality. Some of us are idolaters, Father. We are, not, we are not worthy. We are not. But we thank you that Jesus is. Mm. We thank you that in Jesus we can find grace and mercy. Tonight, Lord, I'm not worthy, but I call because of Jesus. Mm. Help us. Help us, Father, because we are not ready for what's coming, and many will be caught unaware, and their souls will be lost. Amen. Prepare us for what's coming. Prepare our families. Give us your spirit that he may lead us. 
We are rich. We are poor. We are running your church is based on our intelligence and our wisdom as if it's our company, as if it's our business. Mm. We have forgotten how to be led by your spirit. Mm. We think we are so educated. We know it all. We have studied it all. We have watched the videos. We have done all the hashtags. But Father, we are so wretched, so wicked, so broken, so corrupt. Help us raise up a generation of saints who will stand mm. for what is right. Raise up a people who know what it means to talk to you, to hear from you, and to be led by your spirit. We are tired of being led by degrees. We want the Holy Spirit to lead us. Mm. Purify your movement. Remember your church. Strengthen them in this hour of trial. There are many who are sincere, but they are sincerely deceived. Help us to understand what we ought to do. And the devil has come into the church, Father. We see him. We have read a message tonight that tells us that those who claim to be Jews, who are of the synagogue of Satan, are amongst us. Father, purify mm -hmm. us. And cleanse the chaff out and help your mm. church. Amen. To stand in these last days. Very true. Amen. Remember us in your kingdom. Remember us, Father, when you gather your jewels into your bands and your kingdom. Mm. May everyone who is in this prayer meeting today say, if it was not of that day, my soul would have been lost. Mm. It was not of the spirit that moved in this house, that moved in this virtual prayer. If it was not for tonight, I would have been lost. Thank you, Father, for hearing us. Mm. May glory and honor and power and all praise and honor be unto you through Jesus Christ. I pray with thanksgiving and praise amen 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 our amen. father our god yes we are so grateful that while we are in this life tonight yes you gave us this opportunity in the sanity of our minds to yes. call you our father we are away that we are calling you our father. Hmm. Please, God, I pray in the name of Jesus. Hmm. Tonight, come into each and every one of us life hmm. and hold each and every one of us by hand hmm. and practically walk us on the path of righteousness. On our own, we cannot do this because we were conceived in sin and brought up in sin. Oh. We are acquainted to nothing but sin. Oh. The very sin has become part of our nature. Yes. We just need you to be victorious over sin. And tonight, mm. it's a night where you should give us new eyes, new brain cells, yes. that we may perceive properly what your word is said in our hearts today. Mm. Mm. Yes, it's visible. When we pray, we always ask for healing. It is because Sin-wise, we have not been healed. We do not believe that when you us, even our shadows can heal the sick. Mm. Our very appearance to the downtrodden and to the poor in spirit can elevate them. We don't mm. believe it because we believe in ourselves remove the carnal men tonight and set in us the spiritual men 
Let your spirit indwell. Let your spirit lead and control. Remove everything man has acquired by his own power and set up your kingdom in our lives tonight. Please, God, as I speak, we, we have bouts of praying for the sick. But who is praying for the sick? Is it Christ in me or it is the carnal man who feels the pain of sickness? I am praying today, my heavenly Father, may your spirit indwell us so that without saying anything, the sick can be relieved because you live in us. Live your life in us. The world around us is desperate for your presence. And we are here surrendering ourselves today <coughs> that you may lead, you may lead from within us. You may work from, we, we, we may have our being because of your spirit. I'm even praying here. Please God, may my presence in my family be contagious towards eternal life. May everyone breathe the breath of eternal life because you indwell me, you live in me. That's my prayer tonight. Live in each and every one of us who is on this platform. If you leave us alone, our nature is sin. We will fall into sin again. But if you hold us by hand and walk us on the path of righteousness that leads to your presence, indeed, we will do that and we will reach our destiny. Thank you, God. Thank you, our God, for hearing our prayer. Thank you for blessing us. Mm. Thank you for healing us from the power of sin. Mm. Thank you for winning us from the breast of sin that we sucked from sin's birth. Thank you for removing us from that power. I'm praying that on this platform, may this platform be the bridge where every family that is represented here and those that will rub shoulders with anyone that is here, their lives may be changed completely into your, into your likeness. All those budgets that are here, the children that are on this platform, everyone there will touch. May they feel your greatness, your glory your love, your long-suffering, your mess, and your deep grace. After all, be worshipped in our hearts tonight. We have come to cry here tonight. We have come just to cry to you. We cannot help ourselves. We have a strong wish to live in righteousness, but we fail. Please, God, Put the trust that we need to showcase your glory to the world, to be an expression of your love to the world around us. But after all, you will be glorified mm. tonight in our hearts, teased in heaven. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. 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 Somebody shout an amen to God out there. Praise be to God Almighty tonight. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. What a blessing. Amen. 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 What a blessing. Praise be to God. Praise be to God. Amen. Praise be to God. Tonight, friends, is special. I want to tell you. Amen. Tonight is special. Amen. God is here. God is amongst us. God wants to bless you. God wants 
you to be a new creature. You'll be blessed as you reflect on this worship song. Take the stage, Lord, and have your way. I'm just a vessel and nothing more. When you're done, please take the glory. I'm satisfied just to see you glorify. Take the stage, Lord, and have your way. I'm just a vessel, nothing more. When you're done, please take the glory. I'm satisfied. Just to see you glorify I'm satisfied Just to see you glorify Oh, I'm satisfied Just to see you glorify Come f- 
flood this place and fill the atmosphere. Your glory, God, is what is what our hearts long for to be overcome by your presence, Lord. There's nothing like your presence, Lord. All I want is to be with you. There's nothing like your presence, Lord. All I want is to be with you. There's nothing like your presence, Lord. All I want is to be with you. There's nothing like your presence, Lord. All I want is to be with you. All I want is to be with you. Hallelujah. 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 For Jacob's well will never do. So I Amen. will draw from you. Hallelujah. This old world will never do. I will draw from you. Jacob's well never do so I will draw from you this old world will never do so I will draw from you oh Jacob's well will never do so I will draw from you this old world will never do I will draw Come to draw. Oh yes, Lord, we've come. Draw, mm. draw, draw. Yes. Draw from you again. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. We've come to draw. Yes, Lord. Draw. 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 Draw from you again. Come to draw, draw, thank you, Lord. Draw from you again. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes, Lord. Thank you, Father. Oh, oh, we want to draw from you again. Yes, Lord. May his spirit fall afresh. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Lord. Precious Holy Spirit. Amen. We're in need of you. Yes. Come purify our passion. Lord, come and make us new. <laughs> We're standing Lord. here before you. Yes, God. amen. Amen. Just the way we are. Please take away our weakness. Lord, come and make us whole. Oh, you are brooding over every darkness. You are causing light to shine from darkness. You are brooding over every darkness. You are causing light to shine from darkness. You are brooding over every darkness, Lord. You are causing light to shine from darkness, Lord. You are brooding over 
for every dark Thank you, Jesus. Cause light to shine from darkness. Thank you, Lord. You roll. You roll. Jesus, you roll. Be to God for that song. Amen. Praise be to God. Powerful song. Very powerful song. That's all we need, my friends. Just to be in the presence of God. Just to know Him. And mm. hear Him speak to us. That's all that powerful. matters. Praise be to God. Glory be to Him. Amen. Name. Friends, I'm so excited today that God Amen. is willing. God is ready. God is about to break your blessing from the seams because he has waited for this time to accomplish his work and his life in you. We are into the last hour of this midnight prayer program. And as we head towards the midnight hour, there are two things I want us to do. I want us to just give God the adoration, the praise, and the thanksgiving he deserves because the voice from heaven in the message tonight said give praise to God amen he's an omnipotent God and he is reigning if you were here early when we shared that scripture I'm talking about Revelation chapter 19 so those with testimonies those with thanksgivings those with adoration please raise your hand because I want to give you a chance to share with us what this means because the angel the voice that came from heaven said praise our god 
all ye his servants and those who fear him, both small and great. Mm. They have a great, you are a leader, you are a president of a country, you are a minister of a country, you are perhaps a diplomat, whoever you are. I know this program is watched by leaders because I interact with some of them and they tell me they are watching. So whoever you are, the order is great and small, praise him. Because he is Lord God omnipotent and he reigns. Let us be glad and rejoice and give him glory for the marriage of the Lamb has come and his wife is Amen. Amen. We are praising him because God is making us ready. Mm. Amen. He's saving us, he is changing us, he is transforming us, and he just says, Come. Are you ready, my friends? Where are you? give thanks to god where are you i see those hands if you don't give him praise we're going to move from this praise moment into our petitions i know there are many who have been sending their petitions since this prayer program started there are people who've been asking us to pray for some things that they need god to do for them but we thought the most important is for his presence to be with us and that we may know that power has been given to us to make ourselves ready to be in, mm. in the great feast of the Lord. And I'm not going to wait for heaven, friends. Mine starts here. My joy is not going to wait until I see Jesus. It will be completed when I see him. But while I'm here, I will worship him. While I'm here, I will live as one who has been set free. And I will tell somebody about the joy of the goodness of knowing God for yourself. Thank you for those hands, my friends. I'm going to take them randomly based on what the Spirit leads and says. I want to thank you all for those hands. Keep them raised as I'll go through one by one as we thank the Lord. Let me start with Sister Pat Claricia. Greetings and welcome. Pat Claricia, if you can hear me, please go ahead and mute and share with us your praise and thanksgiving or adoration moment. Yes, um, Elder Malusi. Um, mm -hmm. I want to thank God. You know, we pray, we are going through storms and in life, and there's a reason sometimes we are going through our storms. It's because mm -hmm. God wants us, he wants to purify us. We have yes. to go through the fire first. And mm -hmm. some of us, are, we are going through the storm and we, our hearts are heavy. But there's one thing, peace. God yeah. wants us to be at peace during our storms. Mm -hmm. I remember when the disciples were on the, on the lake with Christ and there was a storm and he was sleeping. He was yes. sleeping. And there were example, Christ was at peace in the storm. Mm. But the disciples were wondering, what is going on? And they mm -hmm. woke him up mm -hmm. because they were not at peace. Brethren, even if we have not Get gotten our breakthroughs or whatever. Mm -hmm. There's something when we are in Christ and we're going through a storm, He gives mm. us peace. Mm. A peace that have us to ride that storm, trusting yes. the, the God that we are serving. Mm -hmm. And there's a song I love. I will sing this song. Mm -hmm. I hope I can sing it well. All right, go even, ahead. Even though the winds aren't still. And the waves continue tossing me mm -hmm. from the storms I call his name for relief from things distressing me. Mm -hmm. Now so quietly it comes strength to find my course again, though he's done so much for me. A sweetest gift will always be his peace in the midst of the storm. Peace in the midst of the storm. I cry to him for mercy and his great love he takes the form. Of peace in the midst of the storm. What tomorrow holds, they hope. Joy and sadness coming, 
day by day. But I will not be afraid, even though some storms may come my way. Let my enemy be so. I will not be lost at sea. There will never come a time that we pray I cannot find his peace in the midst of the storm. Is his peace that comes in the midst of the storm. Oh, I cry to him for mercy. And his great love, he takes the form of peace in the midst of the storm. I found such peace in the midst of my storm. Thank you. I found my peace in the midst of the storm. Somebody shout an amen and praise God for that song. Amen. Thank you. Amen. 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 Thank you so amen. much to those young voices amen. that are singing this. Amen. Praise be to God. Thank you so much for those affirmations let me quickly go to sister sandra if you can hear me sandra please unmute yourself and uh, share with us your testimony i'm just going to take these hands randomly so just be ready anytime if your hand is up i may call on you right away sister sandra please go ahead hi good afternoon good afternoon and how are you i'm blessed amen um as we speak about um readiness um i was drawn to psalms 15 Mm -hmm. And it says, Lord, who may abide in your tabernacle, mm -hmm. who may dwell in your holy hill. And this is the requirement. Mm -hmm. He who walks mm -hmm. uprightly and walks righteousness mm -hmm. and speaks mm -hmm. the truth in his heart. He who does not bite, but bite with his tongue, nor does evil in his neighbor. Mm -hmm. Nor does he take up a reproach against his friend, mm -hmm. in whose eyes a vile person is despised, but he, yeah. he honors those who fear the Lord. He who swears mm -hmm. to his own heart and does not change, mm -hmm. he who does not put out his money at usury, nor does he take a bribe against the innocent, he who does these things shall never be moved. That's the end of the um the Psalms. Amen. And that's that's mm. that's my mm. contribution. Amen. Thank you so much, Powerful. my sister, for that powerful Amen. affirmation. Powerful. Who can stand before the Lord? No one else but he who does these things. Amen. Thank you so much for that word mm. and uh, really appreciate it. God bless you. Let me go to Serving Ube. Serving Ube, greetings and welcome. Good evening, Elder, and uh, good afternoon, evening, everybody. Good afternoon. Well, good evening. You're in the UK, so it's good evening yes, for you. Good evening, yes. Yes. What's your uh, praise testimony today? I would love to thank God for his message that angels forever. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, um, I asked my kids to go visit uh, my sister. In Mbulawa, you saw they were moving from Plum Tree, the three of them. When they dropped off in Bellevue, they debated. The younger one said, I know the way. I used this way last time. The other one said, no, we used this way. There was a debate. And then she went and she got lost. Who went, the younger or the older? The younger one. So they separated. <laughs> So when I heard of the news here, yeah, before they dropped off, they said at uh, the elder brother, it's like they were playing music. So the elder brother said, uh, guys, the phone is almost better dead. So just write down uh, 
our, our sister's number so that we'll call her. We'll see a plan on how we can call her. Maybe we'll right. call her to walk. Yes. She, right. The younger one said, uh, I don't have a pen and I'm not going to write it. I'm going to claim it. So okay. she claimed the number. This other sister wrote the number down. They uh -huh. took the bags. The elder ones took the bags. She went alone. And when she was lost, she went back to the main road and she was crying. And then she was spotted by this guy who's selling eggs. He called her, why are you crying? Are you lost? Yes, I'm lost. Okay, so they couldn't understand. She was speaking in Nisindebele. The guy was mm -hmm. speaking in Sona. So he said, okay, let me take you to that other house because they speak your language. Mm. When she got there, they asked her, what's the house number? I don't know. Okay, oh. so how are we going to help you? I, I have cramped my sister's number, call her. Oh, okay, what's the number? She gave them the number. So because of network, it couldn't go through. Mm. And on the other side, I was very much troubled. I was worried. And they had gone out in search for her and it, it was becoming dark. Mm. After about some few tries, the number went through. And then um, a niece to my sister picked up the phone. Mm -hmm. And then it was, she's also a kid. She answered, okay, uh, your kid is lost. They thought it was an elder. She is, uh, she said, this number, house number. Okay, mm -hmm. she wrote down the number. And then my sister that side, she thought it, uh, maybe she managed to see the way and went home. Let me just call and check. Mm -hmm. The time I was, uh, I was um, people were praying for me. I put the request. And then when she called in the house, the little girl said, no, they say she's at this house number. So go fetch her there. And when they got there, they found her calm. She had met a friend. You know, she was even, she <laughs> even forgotten that she was lost. They even gave her a doll. So I just want to thank God because the society is very bad, but at least God managed to remind yes. her of the number and to preserve her so that she was in safe hands till she was found. Mm. So I want like to thank God for that. Amen. 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 Thank you Amen. so much. Next time you must tell her not to be stubborn and follow the elders. The yes, older I, did, I did tell her that uh, you respect your, elder, your, your siblings and you yes. take orders from them. You don't do as you please. You know, tell it to, to you to just get some lessons from that sister survey. There are many souls who are lost because of exactly that stubbornness and mm -hmm. that arrogance of not wanting to be told how to live your life and what to do. And they get stuck in situations and they're, they are not able to recall the way back home. And we must mm -hmm. pray for such people. Spiritually, we have people who are stuck in no man's land. And they can't mm -hmm. come back because their arrogance and perhaps their pride and perhaps just the embarrassment and the shame to face up with the people they spoke badly when they left is just too much. And grace and mercy, we must pray for them. That's Thank you so much for that testimony. Blessings upon you. Let me go to you, Sister Georgia. Georgia Williamson, greetings and welcome. Happy Sabbath. Thank you so much. And Happy uh, what's Sabbath. Your Amen. Yeah, God is God is good. And I'm giving God thanks that the rain is even falling on the outside. Oh, it was so scorching. Yeah. But God is good. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord for his good. His mercy endured forever. Amen. But um, this week, I can tell you about the marvelous grace of my loving Lord. When you feel like you're mm -hmm. at the bottomest part of nowhere, mm -hmm. but God always showed up. Amen. Even when we cannot see it, mm -hmm. God mercy still extends. Amen. As the song come to me, marvelous grace of our loving Lord. Mm -hmm. I just want to read it out. Marvelous grace of our loving Lord. Mm -hmm. Grace that extend, extends our sin and our guilt. Exceeds our sin and our guilt. Yonder on Calvary's mount outpoured. There where mm -hmm. the blood of the lamb was spilled. 
And the chorus said, grace, grace, God's grace, grace that will pardon and cleanse within. Grace, grace, God's grace, grace that is greater than all our sin. Amen. Sin and despair like the sea waves cold, threaten the soul with infinite loss. Grace that is greater, yes, grace untold, points to the refuge of mighty cross. Mm. Marvelous, mm. infinite, much less grace, freely bestowed on all who believe. Mm. You that are longing to see his face, his face. will you the moment mm. his grace receive. Grace, receive. grace, grace, God's mm. grace, grace that will pardon and cleanse within. Mm -hmm. Grace, grace, God's grace, grace that is greater than all our sin. Amen. That's Amen. my testimony. All right. Thank you so much, my sister, for that. I'm sure there's a, there's a gifted singer here who could sing that song and bless us tonight. Please go ahead. If you think you can sing this one, it's a powerful song, a powerful song of the gift of God of grace. We are to go. Marvelous grace of our loving Lord. Oh, no, Sister Georgia. Okay, so sorry about that. <laughs> I know you are gifted to pray, but on song, I think God has not given you that gift yet. <laughs> Can I sing that song? Yes, go ahead. Who's this one? Um, Elma Jean. Elma Jean, go ahead. Yes, go ahead. Thank you, Sister Georgia. I appreciate the testimony. Let's sing it with someone else. Amen. Marvelous grace of our loving Lord, grace that exceeds our sin and our guilt. Yonder on Calvary's mount outboard, there where the blood of the Lamb was spilled. Grace, grace, God's grace, grace that will pardon and cleanse within. Grace, grace, God's grace, grace that is greater than all for sin. Amen. Sin and despair like the sea was cold, threaten the soul with infinite loss. Grace that is greater, yes, grace untold, points to the refuge, the mighty cross. Grace, grace, God's grace. Grace that will pardon and cleanse within. Grace, grace, God's grace. Grace that is greater than all our sin. Marvelous, infinite, matchless grace. Freely bestowed on all who believe. You that are longing to see his face, will you this moment his grace receive? Grace, grace, God's grace, grace that will pardon and cleanse within. Grace, grace, God's grace, grace that is greater than all for sin. Amen. Now all of you can shout amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you so much. And while you are at it, Sister Almoji, now I know you can sing. Praise the Lord. While you are on stage, before, amen. Before you mute, please share with us your testimony in Thanksgiving. Okay. My testimony is this. Mm -hmm. Last night after I had worship with my family. Good night and good afternoon, everyone. I'm sorry. Thank you. After I had worship, I was thinking about my home church, a church that I'm attending now. And mm -hmm. as I, I was thinking about church, 
I was saying, Lord, I really need my church to come alive. What can I mm. do? Who am I going to approach someone so that we can do it together? Mm-hmm. And there's this brother at church. I've never spoken to him. He newly comes to church and we were talking today. But before I reached to that, as I mm-hmm. meditate on that, I went to sleep. Mm-hmm. And this morning when I woke up, it was like, the Spirit said to me, go talk to that brother. Mm-hmm. Whenever you're going to sing in church again, ask him to play. And I said, all right. Okay. So today after church, we were standing outside mm-hmm. and he came, my boss said to him, we were talking and they were talking about, oh, we enjoyed the praise and worship session before the pastor came on, which was not a regular thing that happened. Somebody would just go up and sing a one song and then he would preach. And he did three songs and it was so enlightening to have the church singing and somebody up there ministering and guiding us into singing. I was mm-hmm. missing most of it because I was in the children division, speaking with the leader, talking about yeah. other plans. And I, my ears was in church because I heard something different. Mm-hmm. And when I went in, he was engaging the congregation in singing and it was so awesome Mm. my heart was so glad (laughs) knowing that i have spoken it to god and it was on my mind as i went to sleep Mm. and after we left after the service and we went outside and we were talking he came up to us and this and and she was saying to him i enjoyed the praise and worship today it was so good and he turned Mm. to me after all the conversation we had about the music, and he said, whenever you're going to sing again, just call me, just Mm. see me and tell me you're going to sing and I will play while you sing. Mm. And Mm. he wouldn't understand that it was just not so easy as he said it. It was natural. It was a working of the Holy Spirit because Mm -hmm. I was already being told that I should ask him to play when when I'm going to sing again in church because sometimes we just need to listen be quiet and listen because Mm. god is really speaking to us yes sinful Mm. human beings as we are he is speaking to us and we just need to listen Listen. and i'm so happy i Mm. i felt so good when i came in from church and i said after lunch, I said, oh, I cannot let this miss me this week because I'm in preparation for investiture and all of that and all mm-hmm. kind of meetings going on. And I said, I had to be here this evening. And I, I feel so blessed, Elder. That song mm-hmm. that you played, it touches my heart. And I just want to say thank you, Sister Georgia, for wording that song. It's one of my favorite. And that's mm-hmm. I will jump on it to sing it for you. Amen. I'm so happy. Please continue to pray for me. Yes. Because I need that kind of a strengthening. Amen. I need that strengthening from God. I find myself now dreaming that I'm praying in my dreams. Mm-hmm. I don't know what God has in store for me, but whatever it is, I am ready to accept it because I said, God, Amen. I cannot give you my heart. I want you to mm. take it. Take it. Powerful. Powerful. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Omar Jin, for that testimony. Let me quickly cross over to someone who's not been here for a while. I know they are here because stuff is happening and they have something to share. Sister Rose Bromfield, I know you were on YouTube many times, but it's good to have you here. Surprise, Hello. surprise, and welcome. <laughs> Hello, thank you. Thank you. I, I am always tuning in, man. If you're not hearing me or seeing me on Zoom, um, I'm right there listening. I know. Um, I've seen you on YouTube as well. Yes. Great. God has been, I tell you. Amen. Um, Just as the sister say, God have a way of, of um, showing you hmm. who he really is and that he's not done with you yet. And I've seen... Oh my, I tell you, only God knows. For the past two months, mm-hmm. two, three months, I've mm-hmm. been in a space that 
it feels as if God was not there. I've been going through a lot of things. Okay. It becomes so hard to deal with mm -hmm. until I, I, I couldn't pray. Mm. I I couldn't I couldn't even read the word. Wow. How the enemy had enclosed me in 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 a, in a space. Mm. And mm. Every time when I go to work, that sometimes asks me, "Are you okay?" Because people are seeing that I am not yeah. really myself. Mm. Uh, but I keep saying, "Yes, man, I'm fine," and I've been battling with God. I've been battling, battling mm. back and forth. Yes. You know, sometimes, you know, the people that can hurt you the most mm -hmm. are the people who are in the church with you. That's so sadly true. When, when, when you are, oh my, mm. and and you know people hurt you, and 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 they know that they are hurting you, and they are yeah. pretending as if you are in their own. Mm. 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 That's the part of it. Yeah, that gets to me. Yeah, and you, not only that, it, it, and and the situation I'm in, you know, is not only that. It's mm. the person and myself having an yeah. altercation. Yeah. But you're involving people in things mm. instead of relating to me. And it has nothing to do with the person. My decision has nothing to do with you. And mm. that thing led me to a place where I realized that the enemy want to pull me back mm -hmm. to where I'm coming from. Mm -hmm. I wept at night. Hmm. I go, when I go on my knee, there is nothing I can say. I just, I'm just on my knees there. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm just there. I just can't say God. Hmm. And you know, He has been directing me. I know that. Okay. He has been leading me through this. Mm -hmm. But you know, when I saw that he is really there for me today, what happened? I went to church today. Wow. And what did what did he say to you today? They, Anything no, you remember? All these persons were at church. When I was driving down to church, mm -hmm. I said to myself, "God," because I was feeling so nervous and something. And I'm saying, am I going to face these people? Can I manage to sit in the church with these people? And mm -hmm. I keep talking to God though. Mm -hmm. And when I walked through the door, what happened? they greeted me with such a smile. How okay. are you? And I felt no pain like I was feeling before. Mm -hmm. Everything was as if everything was normal. Mm. And I remember the hymn that was used mm -hmm. take my life and let it be wow. consecrated Lord to me mm. and the verse that got me I, I said God you're not easy mm. you're not mm. easy at all the verse that got me yeah. was the, the line that says take my will and make it thine it shall be no longer mine take my heart it mm. is thine own it shall be thy royal throne and I'm saying wow yeah oftentimes <laughs> oh, tell everyone, God is amazing Amen. He's an amazing God. Amen. And the message at church today, mm -hmm. it was communion. Mm -hmm. And it was done in such a beautiful way, not the normal way we always do communion. Mm. And the little messages that were coming out of each presentation, yeah. mm -hmm. everything was just pointing me that I must look at Christ, nobody else. Look mm -hmm. to Christ, mm -hmm. nobody else. 
and I'm, I tell her, I'm, I'm just feeling so elated and relaxed, so comforted from all of these words today. And I'm saying, God, I know what to do. Why did I allow this yeah. to, 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 to get to me in this way? You know, but he bring this to my mind again, you see? Mm -hmm. when you're walking with me that's mm -hmm. it's just like the voice is saying to me when you're walking with me yeah the enemy will try to come yes. when you're walking with me the enemy will try to come and i'm saying you know it is so true each time of my life that i make the effort to make my relationship with god better mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i comes. tell a man the enemy just rolls some things in your way. Mm. You know? He yeah. rolls some things in your way. And Amen. I'm just giving God thanks that he, 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 he is still with me. Yes. Although I felt that way as if I was alone. Mm. He is still mm -hmm. with me. I don't know. It, it's not mm. easy being outside of your country, away mm -hmm. from your family. Mm -hmm. You don't really have people here you have friends but people you just don't know much yeah it's hard yes. it's a very hard thing yeah you have no yeah. one to relate to and but I can tell i tell you that. can i tell you a secret yeah, yeah. Sister, oh, sorry to jump in right there that's fine i don't know if you realize that when jesus said i will never leave you or nor forsake, forsake you First. He actually meant it. Meant it. Not true. And sometimes we just forget it. We allow the enemy to just slip in and we forget it. He said, I will never leave you nor forsake mm -hmm. you. In fact, he pre qualified that statement by saying, All power. And then he defined and said, all power in heaven and yes. on earth has been given to me. Given. Yes. Amen. And he says, Amen. I am the light of the world. That's yeah. what he said. I am the light of the world. But as he left this world, he said, who lights up a candle and put it under the bushel? But you put it on top of the yeah yes so that it can shine its light mm -hmm. so god actually lit you as a light yeah i want you to picture that just just picture that for a moment to say when christ came with all power all right and when he came to you and you believed him he yeah. actually set you on fire and yes. he made you the light that he is or he was he is and will always be because we know when we get to new jerusalem we will not need the sun he will be the light I the tell he will be the light and yet he says before then in fact he says do not be discouraged yes okay let not your hearts be discouraged you believe in the father and you believe also in me Mm -hmm. And so if he is the light and he set us on fire to be the light, therefore, how do we hide our light under the table? It's when we allow our circumstances and we look at them and we consider them too big for us to deal with. Yeah. Or sometimes we hold on to the pain and we yeah. brood over it and we think yeah. and we create and we overthink and when we overthink sometimes yes. we're creating scenarios in our yes. heads we're creating so words. True. and yet jesus says cast all your cares upon me upon me mm. he didn't say type them in he just says cast them so you just throw it there and i want to tell you this and i thank my one of my moderators on youtube for for mentioning this concept 
she, uh, Sister Crabe Tree, thank you so much. She, she said, I must tell you this. Yes. That when you are unable to pray yeah. because of your pain, because of your hurt, you must know that Jesus is praying for you. Mercy. Thank you. He is not quiet before the Father over your yeah. life and over your situation. So just remember yes. that and thank God that even when you can't vocalize the pain, it's too painful. And I know there are many situations today, like a Hannah situation, where you can't mm -hmm. just say it. It's too painful and too deep and you're lonely. But God is praying for you and saying, yes. remember my daughter. So thank you so much for that uh, sharing and, uh, and enjoying yes. church today. I'm glad you were yes. able to receive the blessing. Amen. Yes, thanks very much. Amen. Blessings Amen. upon you. Good to have you here. We we'll always enjoy it when you come. Thank you so Thanks. much. Thanks. Thank you. You're welcome. Amen. Amen. I've got um, 15 more minutes to midnight, and I've got uh, three hands that are remaining of our beloved uh, prayer partners who are here. I'm going to just go through them perhaps in five minutes, and Elder Mangena we get into our petitions. And by that I mean if you have requested something from God tonight, if you have submitted your petitions through the typed text, we're going to call upon you for a final prayer session together as we agree and believe that God can see us through. So Elder Mangena will lead us onto that. We're not rushing to go and sleep today. Um, but we're going to finish this on time and, and give you time to rest. Let me go, let me go to Sister Carol Wilson. Greetings and how are you? Fine, thank you. Amen. Tell me you are with our <laughs> evangelist. If you are not, then I'm sure. I am I'm, not. I'm... The evangelist is in the sunny aisles <laughs> eating all the mangoes. No, you are not being fair to us. This prayer program needs her wisdom. And I've always wanted no, to hear I from her. I keep telling her she needs to get one of the grandkids or the great-granddaughter to log her on. Yes. She is able to, you know, to talk to you. But I don't know what. I have to just keep reminding her. Tell them the elder oh. in Africa. Tell them the elder in Africa is not gonna forgive them for doing okay. that. Okay, I definitely will. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you and welcome. What's your testimony yeah, for today? So I just really want to give God thanks and praise. I I just have so many things to thank God for, and mm. one of the things that I I don't want to say I am surprised, but I, I just can't find any other way to express it. You know, some we give God thanks when he works those big miracles, those big things that happen in our lives. Mm -hmm. But from day to day, every day as I go along, there is something that happens in my life that mm -hmm. I said, yes, this God just worked this out. God just mm -hmm. fixed this. God just turned this around. God just gave me that insight at the moment when I needed it, either mm -hmm. to do something or to say something. I mean, it's just been amazing. Mm. And I, you know, part of my daily prayer is, Lord, let me not miss one opportunity to mm -hmm. tell someone about him. And so no matter how Amen. simple it is, I'm mm. always looking for an opportunity to, um, you know, to share the message. And Amen. so I, I just want to give God thanks and praise. Uh, you know, the last thing that I can think of real quickly is uh, maybe about two weeks ago or so, mm -hmm. I was trying to get in touch with a government agency in Jamaica. And boy, I'm telling you, if you mm. ever try to try to do to get in touch with any government agency to do business, you know what I'm talking about. Mm. After maybe about 30 phone calls, I was getting nowhere and I reached out to my newfound friend, Sister Baker, and Amen. she was able to, I tell you, and she texted me, she told me, she got a number, she called the number, and on the first ring, someone answered the phone. Wow. And so she was able to give that person my number, the person got in touch with me, 
in five minutes, I'm telling you, after 30 odd phone calls, I was able to get all the information I needed. And it mm. so turned out, this young man happens to be the nephew of a young lady that I went to nursing school with. Wow. That is so amazing God is. So now I have a direct contact in that agency. Wow. I have no more problems. <laughs> I'm telling you, God just has a way. I, I, I just, I can't fathom it sometimes, but yeah. God just has, he has a way of working things out. And one of the things that really struck me, I think just like I was listening to Sister mm. Brown and the way she was saying, you know, I, I, when the enemy comes at you, he's coming for your mind. He's yes. trying to take over your mental state. He wants to put you in a place where you can't pray, you can't think, you can't mm. read the word. And that mm. is the time, Sister White says, take your eyes off yourself and just press through that cloud. Press yes. through that, that black cloud. Just remember Calvary. And yes. just press through. Even if you can't just say, Jesus, help me. Just keep saying, Jesus, help me. The mm. devil will have to flee and Jesus will help you. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Amen for that. I, I, dis I, I now discover we've got a diplomat Amen. for excellence in the prayer meeting. Wow. Praise be to God. Praise be to God for Sister Baker for that support and yes. help Sister Amen. Carol Wilson. Amen. Amen. God bless yes. you. God bless you. Let me go to Hyacinth. Greetings and welcome. Good night, everyone. Good night, Elder. Greetings. Good evening. Good afternoon. Amen. Let me how just are you, say, <laughs> Elder Vangena, how are you? <laughs> I'm fine. Careful, Elder Mangana, you're Praise talking to the a Lord. diplomat, <laughs> diplomat Becca. <laughs> it's God, it's God. You Amen. know, my son told me some years ago, Mommy, mm -hmm. you know everybody in an organization in this country. That's God. I don't know, mm. but you know, God mm. just worked it out. But Amen. before I give my testimony, please allow me to just talk to Sister Rose just for two minutes. Sister Rose, I just want to encourage you because I am in a similar situation where, you know, you are and it's yes. not easy. And, you know, um, prior partners, I want us not to take this lightly because mm -hmm. there are so many persons who are not attending church because they have been hurt maybe by, by leadership. Yeah or yeah. by members and it is a serious thing it's not until you are in it that you know what it feels like they said That's when true. the shoes squeeze you it's because you have it on if you are not mm -hmm. wearing it you don't know but you know i have not been to my church since since the last sabbath in december last year and really? no, I went there twice. Yes, I went there twice. But each time I go, I tell you, my, my, my heart, I come back feeling so broken. I, my spirit, I'm just angry. I don't know. It's not, I tell you, no one calls me. No, And for most of this time, I am not well. Because you know that I've been going through a bout of illness, you know, thanks mm. to God. Mm. I know now what it is. And no one calls me. And I feel really hurt and Whenever I go back and they come, you know, trying to, oh, I tell you something. You just feel so, so angry within. But mm. today I went to church. I went to a church today and I tell you something. I said, mm. God, thank you. I was so mm -hmm. happy. It feels mm -hmm. like church. So mm -hmm. Sister Rose, sometimes God will direct us somewhere else. But if that's where you are planted, stay there and germinate. That mm -hmm. wound will be healed and the scar will be lovely. It will. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let me just go into my testimony now. I just want to thank God that he is a faithful God and his words are ever true and faithful. Mm -hmm. So Before you speak your testimony... Um, yes, just hold on, Elder Mangana. Let me allow her to just finish. I know we've got so much we can share on that one. I'm also fired up here, but let's allow her to finish. Who we'll come in? Sure. Okay. Thank right, you. Ahead, Thank you. Hansen. Right. Okay. So I am supposed to be moving house, right? Um, 
this coming weekend. It was a quick thing because of my illness and God just provided, you know, very quickly. And mm -hmm. you know, Elder, that I have been living um, by faith since three years ago with my whole, you know, story and losing everything. It's faith that yeah. I've been living by. Mm -hmm. So I, I, at first I had to, to do a little, you know, negotiation and God just stepped in and worked it out. So I was supposed to meet with the, with the landlord um, last week to mm -hmm. do the paperwork and to pay the deposit, right? To go in. Mm -hmm. And I did not see the deposit. I did not know where it was coming from, but by faith, I stepped out in faith and I'm trusting God. Mm -hmm. So all week was going by. I did not hear from her at all. I didn't mm -hmm. hear from her one, two, I didn't have the deposit i know that was coming because god said he's an untimed god mm -hmm. so i by thursday now i got a little concerned i wasn't worried because mm -hmm. i said you know what i am not going to you know to get all anxious if that is where god has for me then nothing can yeah. take it mm -hmm. but i got a little mm -hmm. concerned on thursday that i was not hearing from the landlord Mm -hmm. So, and I called up about two people called by prior partners, you know, and we prayed, we prayed, we prayed. Mm -hmm. Friday morning, I woke up and I, I, I reached out to someone. She reached out to me and I just said to her, you know, this is my prayer request this morning. And mm -hmm. I gave her the two requests. And we prayed again, she prayed. And about... Um, no, so the seriousness of this is I have given my landlord here notice, right? Mm -hmm. So I needed to, 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 to be out to come Friday. I said, Lord, mm. you see that I'm going to be on the street. But I said, no, I'm not even going there. All right. About 7, 7.30, there about, I was on my way to work and my phone rang. So mm -hmm. I picked up the phone and I called my co-worker's name because I was trying to reach her. And the person said, no, Hyacinth, it is... And she gave me her name. So this is the, the, yes. the person who was waiting to call me. Yes. And yes. she spoke and, you know, and what, what was so, what was so funny about this, you know, the person who had um, allowed me to do the viewing, I reached out to him on Sunday and he mm. responded and said, I gave her your message. Okay. But Wednesday I reached out to him and he did not respond. Mm. You know, so I found it a little strange. Anyway, she said to me, I said, I was a little concerned. She said, no, I said, no, you know, it's just that I was up and down. I was a little busy because I'm leaving tomorrow. So, you know, I said, okay, mm -hmm. fine. That's one. Elder, mm -hmm. about, within about, maybe about three to four hours time, um, the person I prayed with reached out to me and said, no, I said to her, listen, I got contact. I heard from the person because she had said for even said as soon as you you heard you know you hear anything please call me so i let her mm. know she said um did you get the deposit i said no she said how much is it and i told her she said okay let me try and send you this amount an elder mm -hmm. she tried <laughs> um it wasn't going through based on how we were trying to, to have it done mm -hmm. but you know what so somebody came in and said no I know how to do it this way. Let me do it. And she said, give right. me the phone and let, let me speak to her. And we mm -hmm. went through the process and we went through the process. And she said, confirm if you get it. I said, no, it wasn't there. She called me mm -hmm. back about maybe about 30 minutes later. She said, check again. And I checked. Mm -hmm. Now, the amount that I needed was mm -hmm. the amount that was sent. But I know that from that amount, 20% had to come from it for my tithe and offering, which mm -hmm. means I would be short 20%. I mm -hmm. said, I'm fine because I know God. We can never outgive God. So I said, okay, elder, within another yeah. two or less than two hours time, another friend of mine called me. I am trying to send this for you. I mm. said, listen, use this method. And she used the, the method. Within, I tell you, less than two hours time, I got, after she sent hers, I took out my 20% again. And with the two combined, it was enough for the deposit. Mm. That is God. <clears throat> he mm. says, return 
He said, bring it to me. Yes. And prove mm. me now herewith. Mm. If I will not open the windows of heaven, heaven and pour, pour you out a blessing. blessing. Prior yes. partners, we can never outgive God. And sometimes, mm. you know, we mm. hold on to say, oh, you know, if I do this, I need this. And if I don't, really, for me, I knew mm. God would come through and I knew that the full amount would come. There are still other issues, still things, you know, that I, 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 no. I need. But I know that God will provide. So I just want mm. to just remind us today in virtual land, God is faithful. Put him yeah. first. You can never outgive God. If you get the mm. money to pay a bill, take his 20%. Take it out and see God work. Mm. Amen. Amen. That's Amen. my testimony. Amen. Amen. You cannot Amen. beat God's giving. Amen. You cannot. No. God is a giver. Amen. No. Amen. He even gives sunlight and rain to the wicked and causes Amen. them to leave and be comfortable where they are. God's giving is gracious. Thank you, Sister Hyacinth, for Amen. that testimony. And uh, thank you for the support you gave to our sister and assisted her. God definitely used you. And that's what it is. Christianity is about being a conduit of blessings for others. Mm. There are some who will come on that day and say, thank you for giving to the Lord. Thank you for helping me because I am a life that was changed. Thank you so much for doing that. And I pray that whoever is here and is listening, help others. We live... We are not endowed with blessings for ourselves. Our talents and our endowments and our networks are meant to benefit someone else. So do that. And Matthew, in fact, my hashtag is hashtag 20, M2521. That's Matthew 25 verse 21. That's my hashtag. Thank you so much, Sister Hyacinth. Let me go to Sister Hunt Lafense. Greetings and welcome. Uh, congratulations, everybody. Great I was Why you? late to raise my hand because my house was very noisy. The kids ah. were busy saying, Amen, Amen, Amen. No, it Thank was you. not noisy. It was holy noise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In Matthew noise. 21 says, perfect praise comes from the mouth of children. Yes. Amen. Yes, he has Amen. ordained praise out of their mouth, and we could feel it. They were fired up. You have no idea yeah, what you're doing yeah. to their little minds. Yeah, yeah. Yes, go ahead, my sister. How are you? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Now that they have gone to sleep, it's more. Is that what more that? peaceful? <laughs> okay. Right. Um, as I'll try to make it very quick because we're okay. out of time. Okay. I I work for immigration. And mm -hmm. when I joined immigration four years ago, I was, I, I went to work at the at a point of entry mm -hmm. that is a border and borders open seven days a week. And here I was a young Adventist mm -hmm. woman forced to work on the Sabbath. But mm -hmm. I can't really say forced because no one really forces you, you are given a choice. Yeah. And then I get there and I tell them I cannot work on Sabbath mm. because I'm a Seventh-day Adventist and they cannot believe it. Like what? You are in Botswana. Um, mm. The rate of in mm. unemployment is so high. Mm. You're so ungrateful to have a job and then say you cannot work on the Sabbath. What are you saying? And then I just have to stand for my faith and say, but I cannot work on the Sabbath. Mm. I'll make sure that I work any other day, even if it means working Sunday from sunrise up until sunset, I will do mm. so. But on the Sabbath, I'm sorry, I can't. I was very much misunderstood. Some thought I was just an arrogant young girl from the city. Some thought, mm. you know, different things. I was so, 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 yes. And then I remember I had to make an uh, I had to make a, a decision to just say, you know what, I'm going to leave my job mm -hmm. because I am I can't work on Sabbath. And then I said, but I'm mm -hmm. not just going to leave. I'm going to leave making sure that I don't leave every stone unturned. I'm going to fight for this. But if I mm -hmm. fail, I'm, I'm going to leave. Right. So I started praying. 
my husband was back here in Khaboron. It's like a thousand kilometers. It was so bad. So mm. he started praying. I prayed with my friends. We fasted. I fasted even more and said, mm. God, you brought me into this far away place. I cannot just go back like that. Mm. Please help me defend your honor. And then mm. I I I had to to talk to the director. I had to write letters. I was rejected. And then mm. the other time, the deputy permanent secretary to the president actually mm-hmm. came to Gazungula. That's the name of the place, Gazungula. Right. So he came to Gazungula and I asked to see him because I wanted to speak on my issue. And mm-hmm. then it was a big meeting for every government employee and everyone wanted to see him, but he he was like, can I see that young woman who who said she wanted to meet me? So I was the only person mm. who was able to meet him that day. I told mm. him about my issue and just Two minutes into the conversation, he's like, what? That is a very simple issue. I'll call your permanent secretary. She'll sort the issue out on Monday. And then mm. on Monday, I received a saving gram. A saving gram is like a, a communication between um, government offices to say, you know what? Mm-hmm. Allow Khan Zabez and Beha to not work on the Sabbath. Wow. And I was like, thank God. More than that, wow. I was so happy because of the many people who are so scared to say anything to anyone about their faith. I was so happy that it was such a big sermon to to them to say that, trust God Mm. and Mm. he'll sort everything out for you. Mm. It was such a relief. And can I just say that I've been with immigration for years now and the favor that God has given me in this place Mm. is so unmatched. Yes. You know, the people who did not understand me right now, these children who are making noise, they're not even, they're my colleagues' children. They wow. give me their children every Sabbath to say, take our children, please. We want them to learn what you're learning. We know you are, some of them, they drink, they put, actually most of them yeah. are at parties right now and drinking, but they give me their children wow. every week. Today, the other wow. ones were crying at home, saying, Mama, please drop us at Auntie Hunza's house. We want to go to church and we have to wait for them. The other, wow. we go camping together. You know, these kids are just so, they're such a blessing. And I really thank wow. God for, for that. And also, I also want to thank God for, like I was saying, the favor that I'm getting at work. I'm... Mm-hmm. I, I call meetings for prayer every Thursday. Some people come, some they don't. But mm-hmm. every Thursday, I make sure that I'm standing there, praying with our customers, praying with my colleagues. I'm just oh. always <laughs> spreading love and joy. And I'm always being asked to represent um, the, the, the ministry just to make presentations mm. for SADC, just big presentations. And sometimes people are scared to go and they say, no, send her, send her. And I'm like, what? And yes, and it just is. this week, I, I received a call from the director to say that, please go and represent um the minister because there's going to be a Forbes under 30 and we're just looking for one person mm-hmm. in the whole ministry who is young, vibrant and innovative. And, and I was like, God, what? Mm. So I'm just so grateful and I want God to keep promoting me because Amen. there are a lot of immigration grievances that need to be sought out by children of God who are praying. Yes. There are a lot of immigration grievances. People are, are homeless, are almost stateless mm. because mm. one person is just sitting on the job. Yeah. Mm. So I, I just keep praying for God to just keep elevating me for his Amen. honor and for his glory. Thank you so much. Amen. Amen. Some, somebody shout an amen Awful. for that. Amen. Blessings, blessings. Amen. I want you to listen to this song. Um it's it's uh Advent hymns three six eight or SDA hymnal. 618 yeah, i think the title says stand up stand up for jesus it says 
Stand up, stand up for Jesus, ye soldiers of the cross. Lift high his royal banner, it must not suffer loss. From victory unto victory, his army shall he lead, till every foe is vanquished, and Christ is Lord indeed. Listen to the second one, that's the last one. Stand up. Stand up for Jesus, that trumpet call obey, forth to the mighty conflict in this his glorious day. Ye that are brave now serve him, against that numbered four let courage rise with danger and strength to strength oppose somebody needs to stand up for jesus in the workplace in, in the, the communities place. amen in our Church. countries where there's so much amen. corruption someone amen. must stand up for jesus because I that like is, that. yes, Elder, that is the last part of our mission, to just be faithful. Because that's I what it says. Yeah. I, I last heard this kind of conviction mm. at work places mm. long time ago. It's almost dead. It's dead. I'm hearing yes. this for the first time, I think, in the past. 30, 40 years. Yeah. That's true. Sister Hotlafen said, I know this is a God-given calling on your life. Mm. In mm. fact, when I had those kids, I was like, when did my sister have so many kids? Because I know you are my friend on Facebook and I've not seen you having big kids that could stay on the prayer program. So I felt, what's happening with those kids today? Mm. <laughs> So, so when you said what the context is, I knew that God has set you up as an evangelist. You may not stand on a pulpit, but you'll be in your office and you'll do it with your friends in your community. So may God bless you, you Amen. and your husband and your children. May the grace of God be upon you and the promotion is going to come. Trust me. Amen. Stay faithful. Yes. Amen. Do your job faithfully. Beautiful. It's a matter of time. Beautiful. The promotion is not going to come. The promotion is here, is there already. It's granted. There is no better promotion than being promoted by God, to be <sighs> able to stand for God. For Him. Amen. 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 The benefits will accrue from that call. Yo. Just be faithful to that call mm. and see the hand of God be with you. I am convinced and Amen. I'm convicted your faith will carry you and God mm. bless you. Thank you so much for that testimony. Amen. God bless you Amen. all. Amen. Thank you so Amen. much. And uh, we will be praying with you at the end of this. So stay in definitely. I think um, we want to pray with you on this because I know you are up against the odds and it's not easy where you are standing and where God is putting mm. you in. We'll cover you with the prayers. The prayer partners are here. We'll definitely be praying with you. Let me go to my last hand for tonight. Sister Sonia Green James, I think today I know she's a very patient lady. She's been holding on until this moment. Greetings, my sister, and how are you? Good evening, Elder. Um, fine, thank you. And um, I must say that I enjoyed this week's program a whole lot, the service. Amen. Um, Amen. I Praise was, be to God. I was impressed by your presentation, but Elder Mangena, I mean, he was like talking exactly what I've been talking about for days mm. and, and months. Amen. And because Amen. the time is far gone, I'm not sure, I'm not going to give my testimony, but God has been extremely good to me this week, and I will Amen. give that another week. 
However, I'm going to sing a song of thanksgiving mm -hmm. and just let the Lord lead. Amen. I know my heavenly father knew the storms that would my way oppose but he can drive the clouds away and turn my darkness into day and turn my darkness into day he knows he knows the storms that would my way oppose. He knows, he knows, and the tempers every wind that blows. I know my heavenly father knows. How frail I am to meet the foe, but he my cause with air defend, uphold and keep me to the end, uphold and keep me to the end. He knows, he the storms that would my way oppose. He knows, he knows, and the tempers every wind that blows. As I listened to Sister Rose's testimony, the songs came to mind, so I decided mm. to sing it. And one of my favorite psalms says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. His benefits. Who forgiveth all thine iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases, who mm. redeemeth thy life from destruction, who crowneth mm. thee with loving kindness and tender mercies. Mm -hmm. Who satisfies thy mouth with good things so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. And my favorite verse, like as a father pitieth his children, mm. so the Lord pitieth them that fear him. Yes. It has been a good day. God has been good. Thanks for the opportunity and God bless. Amen. 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 I, I think this is a perfect testimony to lead us into our petitions. If you are listening to those lyrics, my friends, you would know that God knows every storm that's blowing in your life. He measured it. And the song says, He tempers the storm. He has allowed it because He has entrusted us with power. But there are some storms that are just too painful, too difficult to carry. They waste us away. Some of them even take us to the grave. Fighting against the evil one. It's time for us to get into our prayer. Our closing petition section. In this part, we gather all the petitions we've had tonight. And we want to bring them to God in prayer. This is the Amen. segment I would like us to just... Pour our hearts to God, this great God who loves us, who cared for us, who died for us, who is coming for us. We just want to cast all our cares upon him. So if you have a prayer request, if you have a petition, if you have a request for deliverance, this is the time I want us to use to press on. Press on to God and gain strength and hope and mercy. I'm going to ask Elder Mangena to lead us on this. Elder, no pressure. Take your time. Let's take our cries and our petitions to God in prayer. Over to you, Elder. Okay. It's a very 
a good time and precious time. I pray that we may always entrust God with all our burdens, mm. with no regrets, mm. because we are in the hands of the owner of the world, the universe. So I want to ask us to quickly, um, I've got some few names that I have here. I've been writing them down that if need our intercessory prayer, I will share them with us. They are up on our um, on our uh, chat. I want to ask you to add those that you think they need us to pray with and to pray for. Put their names there straight away, and we all cry to our God that may may you walk us on this path of righteousness. May he, he deliver us from the pain that is both in the flesh, trying to divert our attention from matters that matter to matters that don't matter. Sickness and death, they are things that we should look down upon which don't really matter at all. But the devil would want us to, to believe that if we are threatened by death through sickness, through hunger and many other means, mm. we can focus on these things more than keeping our focus on Christ. Mm. We need to believe that I am the agent that will get the sick healed. I am the vessel mm -hmm. that can be used by God to get somebody to be victorious. Put their names on the chat and be ready to pray because we will all pray and uh, our families, our brothers and sisters, our friends mm. will be delivered tonight. It is a night of deliverance. Mm. I believe strongly that when we give our challenges to God, all heartedly believing, as he said, he will change our circumstances mm. and we will be left with worship and praise mm. and glorifying his name after the experience. Do I have chats straight on there? My promise to all of us is you will never be the same yeah. after yeah. tonight's experience. Mm. Believe this. Mm. My, you know the verse that we always use, Matthew 18, mm. it's verse 20, I think. Mm. If we agree on what to pray for. Yeah. If we agree on what to pray for with one heart, one spirit. Mm. God has already put himself in the position where he will fulfill that mm. in our lives. So there's no way God can change it if he spoke matter into existence. When he said, let there be a shark, mm. a dolphin, and they are there in the oceans, when he commanded the ocean to stop where it stops, put a border post for the waters, not to exceed a certain point. And the waters obey God. There's no reason why God can turn his back on us because we have cried unto him. There is, he will not do that. I know him. I understand him. So I want to ask that we put our chest there. I've got on me here Michael, Nathaniel, Nicole, and Romario. I've been putting these names. They are, they are asking for God's intervention in their lives. Mm. They are at different stages of challenges of this life. I know that they will never be 
the same again. Mm. Prayer for mm. Philip. Philip is there as well. Let's pray for Philip as well. Amen. We can add Philip to there. Mm. Elder, can you organize the baskets? If they we have the baskets, I'm not seeing all the charts here. Um, but I know that God will never leave us alone. I have my... Mm -hmm. Perhaps uh, they are coming through, Elder. I'm going to yeah. ask that our prayer partners continue to submit these requests. They are a ton and a half, lots of them. Thank you for those okay. on, on YouTube as well who are submitting their prayer requests. We are seeing them. Our moderators are here. They are taking note of those prayer requests and praying as well as we are praying here on Zoom. So keep those prayer requests dropping right now. Doesn't matter how many they are. Uh, when I look at the Drop ones them. I've gleaned Drop through, there are business issues here. There are health and wellness issues. There are people who are needing urgent medical attention. And sometimes going with that is a financial situation that's not allowing. There are prayer requests for marriages and, 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 and families. It has become a battlefield. The devil is ravaging most of these marriages. And so people are asking God to look into their affairs and to help them to restore what is being stolen. And mm. uh, there are others who are asking for uh, I think this one has got to do with the revival and reformation. Okay. And I want to highlight this particular one because it is an attack that the devil is intensifying even in Africa. You talked about it earlier, Elder Mangana, that marriage, when it is between a husband and a wife, as God designed it, showcases the glory of God and yet in the African on the African continent we have seen an increasing number of countries having to legislate draconian laws against homosexuality lesbianism gay transgender and all these issues and they are attacking the family and the child from before a child is born there are laws being set up in our countries that are making it so difficult for Christians to raise their families the biblical way. There is a pandemic that's before us of immorality. There is a fight for sexuality across the board from mm. the extreme conservative Christian home that says we want a father and a mother to the extreme that says if I feel like I'm a man, though I'm a woman, I'm a man. The world is being divided and polarized on that matter. I am praying that may God himself come down like he did on Sodom and Gomorrah and do what only God can do. Because there's no preaching, there's no teaching, there's no praying that's going to turn the tide of this pandemic or mm. this, this cultural revolution that is coming right in the face of God to deface and destroy marriage as we know it. And I'm saying I'm not calling for us to take any action. I am calling on God himself to take action, to take action on this matter and restore Amen. his glory in the Amen. marriages. So let's pray for that particular issue. I think the more we put it as a headline for our God, we will be saved. Mm. So, um, the other baskets that are coming through, I think it's uh, spiritual development. Uh, people are saying, I want a revival and reformation. I think those are Amen. the current, 
core baskets I'm seeing. There are many others on Zoom, so let's look into those and pray together on those. Over to you, Elder. Thank you, ma'am. Can I have volunteers now, quickly? And please, if you are in disagreement with what we are doing now, I don't know what I have to ask you to do. But I think we just need to be in agreement. I don't want it to be compulsory. I want to ask that may it be the spirit of God that moves you to agree and to have faith and to believe that we are asking God to do something for our brothers and sisters here and God is going to do it. Let's just believe it. He's going to do it. If you don't believe it, you are excused. It's a difficult way to say, but may you be excused. May we just see your name removed from the platform now. But if you believe it, we agree that the sick here can be healed by God tonight. He is able. Marriage is threatened here. Will be rebuilt by the Spirit of God to restore His image. I believe that. Two hands raised. I need four hands of people that offer to pray. You will assign the four hands, Elder, assign them. They will pray loudly. All of us will pray for all the requests that are there, taken stage by stage. When one is praying, let's say for marriages, all of us are praying for marriages. When we come to economies, all of us for financial breakthroughs, we are there until the last one. So all of us will pray four prayers. Those that will pray uh, one loudly, the four of them will simply pray one prayer, one prayer, one prayer, one prayer. But we who are following the prayer arrangement we have tonight, we are going to pray with each of, of them until we get to number four. This should be clear. Until we get to number four, we will pray stage by stage. You don't wait to pray with number three. You pray with number one, number two, number three, number four. Let's ask God to walk amongst us, to showcase his power and glory over ailments that overcome us so that we image the victorious. I thank God for tonight. His word was just perfect. I don't know how Elder Mills got to Revelation. I didn't think he was going to get to Revelation, but mm. that's where God pointed his finger on today. And I believe strongly that we have been given the empowering way by the throne of grace. Let's be empowered. Mm. Amen. You can assign us. We need you two can more assign hands. us. Thank you, thank you, um, Shalane and uh, Kay. I think we need two more hands for prayer. While we are waiting for those two hands, I'm going to ask uh, Shalane to pray for health and wellness. Health and wellness. So all those who need help with the health that's failing, concerns of what's happening in us, mental, uh, psychological, you know, medical, you name it. I'm going to ask our sister Alexandra to pray for that. And uh, Kay will pray for spiritual revival. For those Amen. who are asking God to revive them. And, 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 and regenerate their spirits. I'm waiting for two hands so that we can wrap this one.
If you would like to pray, the other categories are family and marriage. I need someone to pray. Thank you, Sister Clarissia. Thank you, Sister Antoniette. Oh, nice to have you here. Thank you so much. I didn't realize you were here. Thank you, uh, Sister Antoniette from Canada. So I'll ask um, Sister Pat to pray for families and marriages. And uh, Dr. Antoniette uh, Nelson to pray for the sexual, should I say, revolution or devolution. The spiritual attack. I like what our moderator said on, on YouTube. That it's as if it feels and sounds like the church is surrounded just like the house of Lot was surrounded. And therefore, only God, by his divine power, can resolve this matter. And so we are petitioning heaven over what others call the alphabet club. Mm. And we are not apologetic about it because we know what <clears throat> the word of God says. As much as we love all our brothers and our sisters, it is time to stand for the truth Amen. and rebuke error. Amen. And so I'm going to ask Sister Antonia to pray for that uh, agenda item. There are many others that we have left out today. But perhaps in all your other praying, pray for the revelation of God in this world. It's getting darker. Amen. Let's pray that God may illuminate we need Amen. The, the angel of Revelation 18 to Thank fill you. this world with his glory. Mm. That's powerful. Please pray for that as well in all your prayers. So I think that's how we'll pray tonight. Thank you. Thank you, Elder. We are going straight into our season of prayer. Yes. With the, the names that have been uh, lined up for prayer, let's be reminded that you can mention the names that you see. They need our intervention at every stage of praying. Those that are sick, that are here, those that need breakthroughs, those that still have weakness as far as faith and belief in God is concerned. If they are here, mention them. Those that need revival, that's what I'm talking about. Let's mention their names. I believe strongly. I don't know, brothers, if you believe, but I believe strongly mm. that God is in attendance to us. Yeah, yeah. He is in attendance to us. He will not disappoint us. He has not disappointed us before. And tonight, he is not about to come back to Cain mm. without any one of us. He knows the way. He knows the way. Let's yeah. pray, my sister. Who is the first one? Over to you. Let's pray. Yes, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we come before your presence tonight. Lord, we are so grateful that you are our Father. Mm -hmm. And we are grateful, dear Lord, that you are touched with the feelings of our infirmities, as you have said in your word. Amen. Father, at this moment, we present your people before you. Mm -hmm. We pray, Lord, for all those who have requested prayer for their health. Father, we give them into your hands at this moment. Father, I pray for this young boy who has to perform heart surgery in India. Father, somebody has stood in the gap for him and has requested prayer on his behalf. Lord, you know everything. You know this child. And Father, you know our bodies, how they work. We pray, Lord, that you would intervene, that you would be with the medical practitioners, that this surgery may be a successful one. Father, we pray for all those who have mentioned different areas, those who ask for healing from diabetes, all other ailments, Lord. We pray that you would take control. We pray, Father, that you would answer every prayer, everyone, dear Lord, who has called upon you at this time, who has made a request for healing. Father, you know our bodies. You know how our bodies work down to the very molecule, down to the very atom. And so, Father, we believe in your saving power. 
We believe in your grace. Father, when you walk this earth, you just said the word and your people were healed. And we have that faith, dear Lord, that you can heal as you please. You can just say the word, dear Lord. You can touch, you can heal. Father, we believe. And we intercede, Lord, on the behalf of all those who are asking for prayer this evening. Those, dear Lord, who have ailments in different parts of their bodies, dear Father, we pray for them. Those, dear Father, who are mentally ill, we come to you, dear Lord, on their behalf. Father, we pray that you would take control. Take control, oh Jesus, and may your healing reach every soul who has called upon you at this time. This we pray in your most precious name. Father, we also remember this individual who has asked for prayer for a sister who's been diagnosed with breast cancer. Father, we pray that you would touch her according to your will. Help her, dear Lord, to be able to overcome. Help her, Father, give her the strength that she needs to remain firm, to remain steadfast, to trust you for the healing that you are going to provide. Give us the strength, O oh Lord, that we may continually trust you and believe that you are going to grant us the desires of our hearts according to your will. Be with all of us who are on the platform, dear Lord, those who may be ill in one way or another. We pray, Lord, that you would touch us even now and grant us your healing. Minister unto us in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Sister Kay. Let us pray. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Father, in heaven, we give you thanks that we can come to you in the name of Jesus, the one who died for us, the one who spilled his blood on Calvary's cross. And it is through the merits of his blood, which is still alive today, transforming lives. Mm. It is on that premise that we come to you this evening. We thank you. We ask forgiveness of all our sins and unrighteousness. And we come, Lord, claiming the merits again so that we can be cleansed. We can be made pure and whole. We thank you, Lord, for the opportunity to pray for a spiritual revival among your people throughout mm. Earth's remotest bounds. We recognize, Lord, that this work is huge. It is bigger than any one of us. We recognize that we cannot do it on our own. We cannot come up to the mark. But with Jesus living in our hearts, Lord, and transforming our lives through your Holy Spirit, we are more than conquerors. We are able by your blood and so today, Lord, we want to place each one of us here this afternoon by faith in your hand that mm -hmm. you, can you can recreate us into your image, into your likeness after the similitude of heaven. Mm -hmm. We pray, Lord, that you will have your will in our lives, that you will create a, a yearning, a desire to want to be holy, to want to be like Jesus so that the, the life of Jesus can be seen in us and men and women will, be glorif will glorify your name because you say if you are lifted up, Lord, you will draw all men unto you. Yes. Amen. Lord, we thank you. Mm. We thank you that in your words, the special words containing in the book of Lamentations, chapter 3, verse 22 to 23, it tells of our lo your loving care over those who place their lives in your protection, 
-hmm. It says it is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed because of your passion, your compassion fail not. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, said my soul. Therefore will I hope in him. The Lord is good unto them that wait for him, to the soul that seeketh him. It is good that a man should both hope and quietly wait for the salvation of the Lord. We mm -hmm. trust these words today, Lord, that you will, as we wait upon you quietly, the Holy Spirit in us will do that work that mm -hmm. we cannot do, we cannot achieve on our own. For mm. sometimes, Lord, we are even presumptuous in taking on the attribute of the Holy Spirit and rebuking the devil in our lives and in the life mm. of our children, in our home and so on. Not knowing that it is not our prerogative, mm. but the, it is only the Holy Spirit that can mm. rebuke. And so, Lord, I ask that you teach your people how to pray. Yes. You teach us how to understand and apply your word so that mm. believing and understanding your word lord the power can attend unto us the power lord will be there for us to understand when you speak what it is that you really mean and how mm. can this power be transformed into our life that we can stand and we can walk up to Ahab and we can say we can walk up to, 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 to the, the king as Ahab did as, as, as Elijah did to Ahab and say these three years the rain will not fall because he understood God and know the relationship that he had with him. God give us this level of understanding so that when we read your word, we will apply it appropriately. Lord, we mm. understand that it is the spirit that make it effectual what has been wrought out on the, on the, uh, by the Savior on the cross. It is by the spirit that our heart is made pure. Christ mm. has given his spirit as a divine power to overcome all hereditary and cultivated tendencies to evil. Help us, Lord, to understand that if we are not yielded mm. to the power of the Holy Spirit, mm. we cannot be successful. Amen. Lord, I've left you and I've gone out into a dark, lonely country. I have left you knowing that I'm leaving you behind and went out into a dark place. And while dear, like the prodigal son, Lord, you came back and held my hand and asked me mm. what I was doing there. And mm. it is the bringing me back to the foot of the cross that helped me to understand these things. That it is not my strength. It is not my knowledge. It is not by reading the word and believing that just reading the words on the surface can keep me. But a divine connection through the Holy Spirit Spirit is what makes the difference. As you had revealed it to me, Lord, there are many persons on this platform this evening mm. who have probably been in the church, sitting, going every week, but they are in a far country. Visit us, Jesus, in those places. Mm. Visit mm. us in the corner of our mind, in the jail cells of our mind, of our lives, in our home, wheresoever those jail cells are that we are locked into and believe mm. that we are safe and secure, Jesus, mm. open those prison doors. Mm. Let us recognize, Lord, that the Spirit is ready to be poured out at this time. Poured mm. out upon a people that lose sight of self, pride, and anything mm. that depend upon me, myself, and I, mm. but totally depend upon Jesus and the spirit which he has left for us to depend 
depend on Jesus. Have your people no eyes. Have your people no ears. Have mm. your people no understanding to see that when you were here, you did mm. nothing of yourself, that you were totally dependent upon your father and mm. everything you did, you consulted with him first. Have we no understanding, Lord, to, to walk in the same stead as you and to know, Lord, that when we would have gone down some roads that will carry us to destruction, and then when we remember that you did not sanction it, sometimes we stop to say, Lord, please bless me or, or, or bless the decision mm -hmm. when it is wrong in the first place. Mm -hmm. Wake us up, Lord. For we are foolish virgins, fast asleep as Matthew 25 has described. Mm -hmm. But we dare not allow the time to pass when we hear that the harvest is passed and the summer is ended and my people are not saved. And that is why tonight, Lord, we are praying that you will give us a yes. spiritual revival of primitive godliness Amen. that your people lord will desire the will of christ mm. the mind of jesus to be mm. reproduced in us we will desire to be one with christ and yes. we will desire that the one accord that the holy spirit had allowed to be among the disciples mm. in the former church will be mm. among us because the work will be finished in no lesser glory help mm. us lord to lose sight of ourselves one more time continue mm. to be on this platform with your people help that when we pray lord our prayer will be sincere not just mm. a bunch of words but earnest lord mm. earnest and yielding of self yielding mm. of unrighteousness turning our back to everything that that is that is sinful mm. and yearning for holiness and to be made whole that when you Amen. come jesus you will not say depart from me workers of iniquity i never knew you but you mm. can say come thou blessed of my father enter mm. into the joy of thy lord we want to hear the well done from your lips lord we mm. want to be a part of the number when the saints go marching in so save us save our families save our mm. congregation and help that the spark begin with us as individual and we will blaze a trail and we will light the world with the light that you have placed in our hearts Amen. is our prayer with thanksgiving in jesus precious name we do tell you thanks amen 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 amen, amen. thank you thank, thank, you. So thank you my sister amen. for that powerful prayer sister pat yes we are praying kind heavenly father we thank you for the opportunity, Lord, this afternoon that you have given us, or this evening, that you have given us so we can, we can spend time in your presence dear Lord. We thank you for your goodness and for your mercy that is ever new every morning. So, we, Lord, we bless this plat prayer platform in a mark and special way, dear God. Mm. Father, we are weak, but you are strong. Mm. We are feeble but you are almighty. Mm. So we petition you this evening, dear Lord, on behalf of everyone on this platform, every mm. petition, every plea, Lord, we come to you, who is the only one who can heal, who can mend, who can restore. Mm. But in a mark and special way, Lord, present before you our, the families families and marriages, Lord. Father, you instituted marriage at creation. And the enemy has placed a special attack on our mm. families, dear God. Mm. Father, we need a divine intervention. Father, so many families are broken up. So many marriages are broken up. 
Father, we need your presence in this home. So, Lord, now we are asking you, Lord, to go to every Adventist home, every home, every family, every husband, mm. every wife, and Lord, touch their hearts. The mm. same love that brought them together in the first place. Father, rekindle that love. But most importantly, Lord, mm. help that, Lord, that you will be that flame in that love. Yes. You, Lord, will be that flame that will keep them together, that will make them realize that on their own, they cannot do it. Mm. Father, be our families. Father, some marriages, the husbands have gone out, or the mm. wives have gone out, or there's money problem. Father, refocus us, Re refocus marriages, we can mm. focus husbands and wives that they might realize that, they have, we, that we have to look to you and not to anybody else, not to each other. We are weak. Amen. Our dependent is upon Amen. you, not upon ourselves. Father, there has never been a problem that you cannot solve. You have never lost a battle. And this is a yes. battle. This is a battle. So, mm. Lord, we are asking you, Lord, to go to the various homes. You know who is hurting inside. Give, give, give us a forgiving spirit. Mm. That we might forgive each other. That is what is happening a lot of times. Yes. We are not forgiving each other. But Lord, you have said, if we don't forgive one another, you not forgive us. Mm. So help mm. us that we forgive one another. Father, with the children of these homes, with our children who are out there, who have lost their ways, they have lost their way and they don't know where to go because they don't have an example to follow. Father, mm. bless and every home, even at this moment, dear God. Mm. Father, you know each individual. Amen. Even before they were created, you knew them. Mm. So Lord, I'm asking you, I'm petitioning, Lord. It's heartbreaking. It is heartbreaking. Even mm. this afternoon, it, I heard that so many Adventists are divorcing, are mm. divorcing. When I came to the church, Lord, I, I never heard this before, 45 years ago. But now it's an alarming, an mm. alarming situation, Lord. We need you, Lord. We need you to bring healing, mm. to bring healing to mm. hearts, to homes, mm. to refocus our attention from worldliness, from material things, to the spiritual. Mm that husband and wives could stay together throughout whatever storm come their way, Lord Jesus. Mm. Throughout whatever storm that they can battle it together, knowing that the creator of the heavens and the earth, our father, mm. our sustainer, our protector is mm. in control. Father, take control of every husband, and every wife, mm. every child every church member for the help mm. us to be so supportive of each other help us to be supportive of each other we are called to show love to each other if we show love if we love one another that's how the world will know that we are your disciples mm. it's not to criticize but help us to pray as we are doing right now and that's why i thank you for this prayer platform dear god for the church lives make a difference in the lives of those who are hurting even at this moment and Lord, help that wherever they may be, that the mm. present will feel your presence and they will know that somebody, mm. someone is praying. Mm. And they can say, I can feel it. Someone is praying. Father, we ask that Lord, mm. you mend relationships. You would mend it. You would mend it and cement it, Lord, that it will never be broken. And that the enemy of soul who has attacked your institution, mm. Lord, will be defeated in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. 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 Our Amen. heavenly Father. Oh. Uh, before you pray, Elder yeah. Mangana, there's Sister Antoniette. Okay. okay. Let us pray. O oh Lord, our God, how excellent is thy name in all the earth. Mm. 
Lord, you have set your glory above the heavens. And Amen. to you, Lord, all glory belong. To you, all yeah. praise and honor belong. And for that reason, O oh God, you said we are to call upon you, Lord, and you promised to hear us. O oh God, we ask for you to incline your ears unto our prayers. And we pray, dear God, that as, we, as I come before you, Lord Jesus, there's nothing good in my hand. I'm mm. only a lump of clay. So I ask you, dear Jesus, for you to forgive me of my sins, to cleanse me of my all unrighteousness, to mm. purify my mind and my thoughts, my deeds and my body before you, Lord Jesus. That as I come, Lord, not knowing what to pray, that your Holy Spirit will put your words in my mouth, dear Jesus. And Lord Jesus, you will teach me how to pray. Lord, as I come, I come, Lord Jesus, bringing the petition, Lord Jesus, of the state of our, of, of our young men and the world into your hand. Mm -hmm. Lord Jesus, I'm calling, Lord Jesus, on behalf of men. Today, Lord, as men, Lord, we're not glorifying you as God. We have mm -hmm. become unthankful, Lord Jesus. We have become vain. Our imaginations, Lord Jesus, are, 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 are darkened. Lord Jesus, we are, the loss of the flesh, Lord, has taken over. And men, Lord God, has dishonored the body that you have called your temple, the temple that you want to dwell in. But Lord Jesus, men, Lord Jesus, have changed, trying to change the truth of God and make you into a lie. God, you have made man and you have made woman. But Lord yeah. God, a vile affection has fallen upon your people. Mm -hmm. men lord god are leaving the natural affection of men of women and lord jesus have turned to turn to each other mm -hmm. and god they have filled our land with unrighteousness wickedness mm -hmm. so many evil diseases have come upon us lord jesus because of this vile affection and dear god we are asking you to help us because of ourselves, Lord Jesus, we can't do anything. And there are so many people, Lord Jesus, supporting them as if they want mm -hmm. to tell them that is how they were born. And these things are natural. But God, in the name of Jesus, we rebuke those spirit of vile affection that has fallen upon your people. And we're asking you, dear Jesus, for mercy. Mm -hmm. We're asking you, oh God, to help us. Mm. We're asking you to help us, God. God, we as a people put our trust in you. We have yes. no other God to trust. We have no other God mm. to call upon. And Lord Jesus, you're a God that never fails. And because mm. we know that this is a lie, we're asking you, oh God, to root it up out of our young people, root it out of our children, root it up, Lord Jesus, and save us. And save us, Lord. This was not how you have made us. And we believe in you. And we're asking you to help us. We're asking mm. you to deliver us from this vile affection that has taken over. And Lord Jesus, they are even forcing us, Lord Jesus, to accept and to teach our children, even in schools, these lies. But God, in the name of Jesus, I pray, oh God, that you will break down these altars. You'll break down these lies. And I pray, oh God, that you will deliver us. Deliver your people. Deliver our young children, Lord Jesus. Guard the avenues of their mind and their ears and all the avenues of their mind, Lord Jesus, and save them from the, 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 what has taken over our world. Mm. Lord Jesus, we're asking you for mercy. We have mm. no help but you. So, Lord, as we lift our hands up to you in faith and ask you to help for help, we pray, God, that you will not disappoint us, but you will grant us favor with God and with men and save us. Lord Jesus, thank you for hearing our prayers. Thank you for your blessings. Thank you for your saving grace. Thank you for your deliverance because Lord, you never fail a battle. And mm. thank you in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 I will pray. Our Father, our God, in heaven and here on earth. Mm. Right on this platform, we have different challenges, mm. sicknesses, mm. just for your attention. And you have promised, you have brought us here because you are in attendance to us. Amen. Amen. I believe strongly, my Heavenly Father, that our confiding in you tonight will make a difference in all the challenged people that are here on this platform. Mm. 
Mm. Grow us in grace. Grow us in love. You Amen. and one for another. Give us the trust and the belief and the faith mm. in all the promises of your word tonight. Mm. My heavenly Father, don't, do not leave us alone. Do not even leave us to feel your absence from us. Mm. Because mm. we know, we know that with that, we will not make it. Yes. I pray tonight that you may you may look at us. You may you may come and walk in our lives. You may mm. you may change us completely into your likeness, mm. so that even those that are not here, who will meet us, they will see your greatness in our lives. Those mm. who are sick will be healed by simply speaking with us. By talking to us, they will hear you speak through us to them, and they will know your great glory and your power. Mm. We are asking, mm. I agree with my sisters who have just prayed here tonight. Please, God, as we agree, you have promised mm. that mm. once you agree, what you ask for, I will do it. Please, God, heal the sick. Heal the marriages that are here. There are some who are looking for financial breakthroughs. Give them, let their eyes be open to see the blessing you have set in their pathways. Mm. Mm. There are some here who are who want to find jobs. In reality, they are not looking for jobs. They want to be able to live and not depend on anyone. They want to pay their bills on their own. They want to be, to be financially independent. And you can give all of us that independence. Because you have everything. You lack nothing. The mountains are yours. The animals that mm -hmm. live there, they are yours. As we cry unto you tonight, change us completely into your likeness mm. and let us walk on this pathway mm. under your leadership, under your control. I thank you. I know you have heard. If you cannot forgive me and you can't hear me, please hear my sisters, my, my brothers that you have just prayed. Mm. For that reason, may your name be glorified for what you are going to do for us, for what you have done for us for what you have promised to do for us. Mm -hmm. Thank you for giving us in the sanity of our mind, the trust and the belief in your word. May your name be glorified in our hearts tonight as it is in heaven. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. And amen. 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 Praise be to God tonight. Amen. Praise the Lord. Have your way. I'm just a vessel. Amen. Praise be Nothing to God. More. We've come Amen. to the end of our program tonight, my friends. When you're done, and I just want to thank you all for participating. Amen. Glory. In your different ways. May the Lord be blessed. May the Lord be praised. We thank God for his grace. May he be seen. If there's one message I'll leave you with tonight is be clean. Put on your garment. Stand with God. That's my message for you tonight. My friend. Be the vessel that God is using to finish his work. Nothing more. Praying that God may give us more workers to finish when this work. I thank you all for joining us tonight. God bless you. May the Lord lead you. May He bless your families. May He protect you and show you kindness and favor. May God be everything you're looking for. 
I was blessed tonight. I don't know about you, my friends. I just want to thank God and give him glory. I hope someone can join me to just say hallelujah to God. Amen. Good night. Good day. Hey. Good night. Good day. Amen. Have a Amen. beautiful sunset wherever you are. Amen. Thank we you, Elder. We are for the sunset now. We'll I meet just again also on in. Wednesday. Amen. Thank you, Elder Mangana. I just also want to invite you to register for the convention. Those who haven't done so already, please do. You don't want to miss this event, whether you are any part of the world. We'll be streaming this live to you on that Sabbath day. I don't want you to miss it. So please look out for the link on our convention page or on our Facebook page. I would like you to benefit from this meeting. I'm going to throw the registration link shortly. We have limited spaces for the venue. So we're going to close it once the number has been reached. But there's no limit for those who can join us on YouTube. So for those who are on YouTube, please look out for that link. I've just posted it right there. If you are here on Zoom and you'd like to receive that link, I'm going to put it in the, in the chat room as well. Please click on it, fill in your details, and we we'll look forward to have you just about 33 days to go. 34 days, 33 days to go. Thank you, my friends, for that. With a special program for you on that night. So look out for it, and God bless you, and uh, all the best. Yes, bless. Um, NAT? NAT, um... This is for NET, I can't pronounce her last name, M H L A N G A. This is Sister Wilson. I sent you an individual chat. Please check your chat and you can get back to me. Thank you. For NET, NET Mthanga. NET, yes. NET Mthanga, get in touch with Sister Wilson as right, soon I as you can. Her a in the chat. In the, in the chat, I sent her a cover directly. All right. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, my brothers and sisters. God bless you. You will exit now. And thanks to those who are on YouTube who followed us. God bless you. Thank you so much. Do remember to like before you exit. Just like this. Live. Amen. Amen. It will help us to get more people to watch this live stream and be blessed. Thank you, brothers and sisters. And amen. Lord, have a blessed week, everyone. Amen. Come here, come flood this place and fill the atmosphere.